Nej. Guess what, boys? Guess what? Um, Gold Road, apparently. All the patch notes, they've just been released, and we're gonna look at those on stream. Um, Gold Road is here. It is going to be very interesting to read, and... Yeah. Let's take a look at it. Let me finish setting up everything. I don't think the PTS is live just yet, but we'll hop on as soon as it's ready. And then we'll go goof off and make some broken OP spells. Yeah. Let's take a look at these patch notes. I speed ran over them just because, like, today I was mid-build video for my Nightblade. And I want to know if it's still okay to make my build video. Or if I need to make some dramatic changes because the build is getting shifted because they made some fat changes or whatever. But from my speed run... Um, I don't think there's any changes to Tarnish Nightmare, any of my other sets that I use, or Nightblade as a whole. What's up, Maranto? So, that's good. So that means I can proceed with the build video, and it should be out. I, I know I was supposed to be out today, but, like, I got so sidetracked trying to make it that it might come out at the end of the week. Listen, I'm sorry, alright? Listen, cut me some slack. These notes, bro, first, you're slow, Garm. All right, we're gonna look at these notes. Uh, we're currently logged into the live server, not the not the PTS. Um, hopefully, the PTS still isn't bugged. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go look at the obnoxious grease. Um, whatever this is, let me take away the controller overlay so that's not in the way. The dancing friends can stay. Um, I need to actually shift it over a little bit so chat's not in the way. I can just zoom out. You guys read that? Hold on. Uh, let's see. I think I squished the chat. It'll just look really weird. We squished the chat. It's squished. You guys ready to get squished? Hold on, wait. Properties. Squish. Alright, you guys got squished. So that way we can see the notes together. Remind me to fix that. Once we go back to testing and stuff and the PTS goes live. What's up, man bear pig? I need your reaction. Alright, hold on, hold on. Not my fault. YouTube lags on chat when you don't run Chromium. What is this, grease notes? We'll find out. Alright, All right, let's take a look at these patch notes. Alright, let's see. Welcome to the Elder Scrolls Online version. Oh, wow, 10.0 on the dot. Look at him. Look at him. The latest chapter, Gold Road! Investigate the return of Alithia. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, what am I supposed to be looking at? Um, is there anything like they're talking about what they're primarily focused on? There's a variety of new things to collect. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff probably coming with this. Um, oh boy. Overview. Updates. Big changes. Alright. Bribing. Look at that. Skill styling. Right. New trial. I'll have to play that. Ooh, base game stuff. HDR support. Bruh. Character resolution? Bro! Wait, they're improving my character so I'll look more beautiful. Hold on. You're saying this is gonna look better. Bro, I just can't get much better. Look at him. Look how handsome he is. I digress. Hireling course. What? Alright, we'll, we'll read all these things because some of these do look interesting. Known issues, combat, exploration, UI. Oh, there's so many UI bugs, bro. Um, oh, there's, yeah, there's a lot of bugs. Bugs, bugs, bugs. Get a new character. Scribing! Okay, here's spell crafting right here. So happy and sad at the same time and reading these notes. We're gonna get a whole host of emotions, most likely. Scribing! Alright, we are very excited to introduce to you Scribing, a new system focused around combat, giving you the ability to customize abilities to suit your playstyle. This powerful new system. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, we're gonna turn the music off so I can focus on reading. This powerful new system gives you access to 11 new unique customizable skills that you can make your own. Go on an exciting adventure with the Mages Guild to learn how to scribe your own customizable skills. As you explore the Scalarium beneath Avea and plumb the secrets of the past, you'll earn new skills, new scripts, skill styles, and a variety of scribing benefits thanks to some very powerful friends. To get started, seek out Adept uh, Enrolled. Bro, what are these names? The Mages Guild in Skingrad. Uh, okay, cool. Describe a new skill, you'll visit the altar. I, mean, I remember seeing this in the video. 
First, you select a Grimoire. Okay, the Grimoire contains the base behavior for the skill. For example, Wield Soul Grimoire launches a concentrated blast of soul magic, single target. Okay. Focus script. This these add the main function of the skill, so they determine the skill's name, resource type, and resource cost. What is this? Next, select a signature script. These add unique effects to the skill. For example, if you select damage over time signature script, magical soul will now deal um listen. Affix script. Um, they add these add the final benefit to the skill. Usually, the major and minor buff and debuff system. For example, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can select all that. We'll play with that as soon as that goes live. Um, I'm gonna make the most broken, uh, broken spells of all time. Watch, watch. Luminous Ink. Okay, I have questions about this. After completing the quest, Wing of the Indric, Luminous Ink will rarely drop. Rarely. Drop from a defeated enemies, and after completing this quest, Wing of the Nash Luminous Ink will rarely drop from harvesting crafting materials. Um, I don't like RNG. Um, there needs to be, like, a guaranteed way to get this. Like, you should be able to, like, pay gold. Like, 10k gold equals one Luminous Ink or something, in my opinion. But, um, maybe that is in the game. I don't know. But just looking at it, I don't like that you have to RNG your way to get your skills. I just... Stupid. Why? I don't like currency systems. I'm sorry. Currency systems for upgrading skills just... We'll see how... We'll see how it paces out. Place your new scribe skill ability on your ability bar from the skills menu. If you have a blank spot on your skill bar, it will populate... What? Do not. You can find the skills menu under your parent skill line. For example, Vault will live underneath the bow skill line. Okay. There's also a scribing tab inside the skills menu, which allows you to understand what grimoires and scripts you own have scribed and as well as combinations as well as what combinations are possible when you are away from describing altar in the scalurium well, access to the scribing altar becomes uh, after you complete all oh, bro so this is another skill line we're probably going to have to purchase in the crown store so that way for each of our characters that we want to scribe on um we either do the quest which would probably take like i don't know how long the quest will take we'll see um but you finish it once, and then you pay three. You pay thirty dollars on every character that you want to have custom skills on. Basically, is what I'm getting from this. Um, so that's interesting. I don't, not a big fan of that. But if the quest is like super short, it's super easy to understand and get done. I'm not really gonna have a problem with it. Do you know how much longer the PTS will be in maintenance? I'm not sure, but normally the PTS, when they come out late in the day like this, um, like in 10 minutes, the PTS will probably go live or something. Um, we'll be able to play it today, though. Game devs need to stop gatekeeping cool features behind awful new gameplay. Nobody gives a heck about the crap that they want you to do. Just let us have <laughs> the abilities. I agree. Um, if you're gonna, like... There, there needs to be a way for us to just access these without having to do all the extra quest stuff, but, like... For roleplay reasons, that's probably why they're in here, because people want to be immersed in stuff, which is, you know, that's alright. It's just, for us that want to get to the in-game stuff, and just, like, you try out the new system, and go and use it in Cyrodiil, I don't want to spend four or five hours doing a quest line on a character, um, so that way I can get the things that I want. I want to kind of just get to in-game and have my fun, you know? And some people don't even have time to do these quests, like, heck. Think about Kirkhoff, right? Kirk is, he's a busy man. He's got a lot of stuff going on. He barely has time to play this game. And if he's got to spend like five hours doing a scribing skill line quest or whatever, he's not really going to have a lot of time to like, you know, flesh this out and fully use it, which will be pain. But we'll have to see how it works. If the skill line's not like super long, um, it should be okay. Um, but I don't know anything. So I'm making assumptions. And it could be really cool. I don't know yet. So it's a good thing I only play three classes? Maybe. I heard that the scribe quest was like six hours long. Unsure if that was accurate. If it's six hours long, bro. Oh my gosh. This is just another way that they're going to use this to make money. Um, Because, yeah, they'll definitely have it unlockable in the uh, crown store for you. They said there's a quest that takes six hours. Then after you done it once, you have to do a short quest in other characters. Oh, so you only have to do the big quest once, and then you have to do like. And then if you want to get it on other characters, uh, you don't have to work as hard. Okay, that's interesting. Exactly. Let me beat up people in Cyrodiil with the new skills. I feel you, Squash. I kind of want to just get right to the meat of the burger. You know, I don't want to have all this other stuff in the way. I would worry less about skill lines and more about zero IC server stability. That is true. 
I don't think there's going to be any upgrades to the server, and they're just adding more stuff, so it's probably going to be slower. So, let's, let's, let's keep reading. For your ease, there's a training room in the West Ring where you can test your scribed abilities and against training dummies. There are also beautiful achievement furnishings. Can we get, like, a uh, scribing altar for our house or something? That'd be kind of OP. Um, probably will, but uh, we'll find out. Um, after completing the scribing quest... Oh, here it is. After completing the scribing quest line when using alt characters, you only have to complete the second era of the scribing to take full advantage of the scribing system, as well as all quest rewards are account-based. Oh, okay, that is pretty nice. If I, if I think this reads as it does, um, you complete the quest, and every time you get a grimoire of some kind, it's account-bound, so you only have to collect it once, and then all your characters have it. Um, well, according to how this is worded, I think... This includes purchases of gr yep there it is includes purchases of grimoire scripts green greatly discounted after you have acquired them from a vendor on an oh wait what oh they get a discount listen have a new grimoire skills customizable skills weapon skill lines these require at least rank twenty five in that skill line and the and the requisite weapon to use do I have to like pay for gold road to have these skills or like if you don't have Gold Road, are they just going to be there taunting you at the bottom of the skill line? Because you didn't pay money for the new DLC. Vault, bow, shield throw. Smash! Smash! I like Smash. I already like this. One. I already like this ability. Elemental Explosion. Mender's Bond. Traveling Knife. Interesting. Soul Magic skill line. Wield Soul. Hmm. Soul Burst. Earned by completing the scribing quest line. Okay. Mage's Guild, Fighter's Guild. Ooh, we get some new stuff here. These require at least rank 5 in their parent skill line to use. Uh, Ursafulgid's Contingency, Mage's Guild, Torchbearer, Fighter's Guild, and Trample. Ooh. Okay, I think I remember hearing about Trample. Like, you summon your mountain, it runs people over. To acquire Grimoires, visit the Chronicle Ferndale in the East Wing of the Scalarium after completing the quest Wing of the Indric and purchase with gold after meeting the above requirements. Oh, that depends on how much gold. Grimoires are customized by adding one of each type of script and then paying the cost in luminous ink. Bleh, yeah, Sigic skill lines, tough to farm. Think you need gold road like jewelry crafting or Somerset when it comes out? You can't use scribing without gold road. You should still have access to the base abilities, but you just won't be able to tack anything onto those abilities. So there should be like a base form that's like a good old all rounder, but you can only customize it with the gold road. Like that, that, that should be how it is. It shouldn't lock you out of the skills completely if you don't have gold road. If it does, we're going to have a problem. It'd be taunting you if you didn't purchase the DLC. Want to see the trample skill with the silly stick mounts? I don't have any stick mounts, but man, I missed it when they came out with the Jester's Festival this time around. I wasn't playing then. Three Grimoire has three script slots. Um, we could just watch a video on this if you want, for those that don't know how it works. But it's probably easier to just watch a video on it, because they've already talked about how all this stuff works. Focus scripts, they set the main function of the skill. Signature scripts give the skill a unique effect. Affix scripts give the final benefit for known buffs and debuffs and uh, all that stuff. Um, not every combination of scripts can be scribed to every grim grimoire. Goodness gracious. Scripts that share the same name may do slightly different things depending on the grimoire they're applied to, but the same theme will apply. Mix and match and discover what works for you. You can acquire scripts by having them drop in the world after completing their associated wing quest. Gain focus scripts. Okay, so here's how you get all these other weird ones. After completing these quests, these will unlock account-wide benefits such as the ability to earn scripts via specific daily coffers and purchase them from scribing and archive vendors. Additionally, archive vendors. Infinite archive? Listen. Additionally, after completing the Wing of the Dragon, you will be able to find scripts hidden at certain mages' guilds across Tamriel. There is also a special kind of signature script known as the Class Mastery script. The script gives you access to special mechanics and passives unique to your class. The script is applicable on all grimoires. To acquire this script, you must collect 50 glass scripts. I mean, scraps via a number of in-game activities. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. To acquire this script, you must collect 50 glass script scraps. That's going to be a grind. I can already tell you that's going to be a grind. Luminous Ink 
is a scribing crafting resource. The ink cost to scribe a skill is based on the number of scripts added. When scribing a skill for the first time, it will always require three scripts and therefore cost three luminous ink. However, if you're going to change only one single script on a previously scribed skill, the luminous ink cost will be only one. Ink drops from enemies in the world at a low rate after you completed the quest Wing of the Indric. After completing the quest Wing of the Net, you can also gain ink via harvest nodes. Depends on how often you get these inks, uh, but it seems like just whenever you uh, kill enemies and stuff, you have a chance to get the ink, so. Skill styling. ESO has countless ways to for you to customize your character's appearance and skills with the Gold Road. We're excited to introduce a new type of customization collectibles called Skill Styles. Skill Styles are a select new color variation on popular existing skills from the weapon guild and world skill lines helping you further stand out on the battlefield there are 22 earnable skill styles that you can earn via scribing quests completing dailies discovering sky shards defeating mirror more incursions and more so like we can change the color of stuff now cool here's the new trial um i don't want to read through all this but we will look at the sets both player normal yep Unique body markings, unique mount, several titles, housing items. Uh huh, right. right. Hard modes, feature the boss, can be activated in any order f to facilitate testing. Right. What? Hold on, let me read chat again. Yeah, there's a video out. Trample skill is the fix for camp mountain combat. <laughs> right. That's why you have chat for epic. Hi. Orange meteor. Purple Wall of Elements, bro, Purple Wall of Elements, OP, someone nerf, not PvE. It's like, they don't, like, the trials, they're alright, it's just like, you do the trial maybe five, six, seven, eight times, and then you run it on hard mode, you get all the stuff done for it, and then if you're not a PvPer, you log off and you wait for the next DLC to run the next trial. Um, it's kind of, that's just, you know... What happens when you do PvE? Um, it's not super replayable. You can do challenge runs and stuff, but they only reward you for the hard mode challenge runs. Not like, oh, um, use a certain weapon type whenever you've complete the trial or whatever. So it's not super replayable, but it'll keep you busy for a while. Um, if that's what you're into, at least. Okay, new sets. Let's go, boys! Alright, Overland sets. Symmetry of the Weld Light. Weapon damage, weapon damage, weapon damage, weapon damage, bruh. Adds 200% status effect chance while your health is above 50%, and adds 10% healing done while your health is 50% or less. Bleh. Macabre Vintage Medium. Damage, damage, da goodness gracious, who, what? Whenever you kill a monster, they burst with blood magic, dealing 50% of their max health to enemies within 6 meters as bleed damage up to... Bleh. 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 Vicious Death? But Overland, bro, we're getting Plague Break back. This is why they freaking. This is why they nerfed Plague Break, bro. Because this, this right here. Oh, it's whenever you kill a monster. Like you're running around in the Imperial City, bro. What if, what if you kill Gorglock, right? And he's got like 500 people around him, and he blows up. Would they all die? This is basically vicious death for PVE, basically. Um. So like, if you kill a guard on a flag, they blow up. I think, because I think they count as monsters since they're not players. Um, pain. Alien Refuge, heavy. Max stam, health, health. Blocking an attack reduces your damage taken by 11% for 3 seconds. Okay, there's no cooldown on that. So this is just a flat 11% damage mitigation. Bruh. Bruh, that's crazy. That's actually kind of cracked. Oh my gosh, I'll be looking at this set for sure. Crafted. Ooh, Highland Sentinel. Okay, crit chance, crit chance, crit chance. Already off to a great start. While in combat, each second you stand still grants you a stack of Sentinel's Eye every one second, up to 10 stacks. Each stack increases your critical chance by 468, um, so that's, uh, like, what, 3%? Each stack, each second you move, removes half a stack from your stacks of Sentinel's Eye. What? Rounded up? What? Exiting combat removes all stacks Sentinel's Eye, um, 10 stacks. Each stack, okay. Okay, so you get, like, 30% crit chance from this set. That's crazy. Oh, wait, 30% plus... Okay, so this is... Daggum! If you stand still, bro, freaking... If you just want to camp in a bush in Cyrodiil, bro, bro, you, you... Bro, everything... Bro. 
Okay, that's crazy. You get like 55, maybe 60% crit chance with this set alone. Not, okay, that, that's a bit much, but you get a lot. You get maybe like 50% uh, crit chance with this. This is crazy. Um, so imagine you're like just crouched, waiting for someone to ride by on their mount with a bow build. And everything that you do is just going to crit, and you kind of know that because you have so much crit chance. Goofy. Yeah, but if you're crouched and in stealth, you're already standing still, and that's easy to just do. Like, you're just going to sit there, and while you're sitting there waiting for someone to ride by, um, you just... Like, you you just snipe them. You don't even need to move, like... In combat, though? Oh, I never read the in combat part. Well, combat's bugged in Cyrodiil anyways, unless they fix that in here, so that's not really gonna be a problem, is it? We'll, we'll see how this pairs out, but just keep an eye on that. Darker's Strike. Damage, damage, damage. What is up with these freaking... These two, three, four lines? What, bruh. Alright, dealing a fully charged... Oh, no. Dealing damage with a fully charged heavy attack. Oh, no. Grant you major berserk for four seconds. Oh. Okay, well, that's not bad. Um. Wait. I have to do some tests with this set. Threads of War adds... I, I really... Uh, bro, like... I may not even need, like, Flame Blossom if, uh, percent damage. 10 percent damage. Threads of War. Okay. Add Stam, Damage, Magic. Okay, so this is like a hybrid thing. Your Light and Fully Charged Heavy Attacks gain 100 percent status effect chance. Status effect is based on the damage type of your weapon. Pain. going to destroy people bro they need to bro i guess they're just encouraging people to play the way that i'm enjoying playing my nightblade like that's crazy did it kick us out yet no we're still here all right hold on my controller is not connected give me a sec all right let me show you something this is on the live server hold on all right let's get some food in us our max stats up all right you guys ready? This is the most complex rotation you've ever seen in your entire life. Or, wait, I don't have my... Hold on. Listen. Complex rotation. Very hard to do. Um. Listen. We don't... Listen. Okay, um, back to it. Let's see. Trial. Okay, so here's the trial sets. Hold on. Okay. Mora Scribe's Thesis. Light. Crit chance. Minor Slayer. Magic. Crit chance. Perfected only. Increase your critical chance by 128 for every major buff you have active on you. Up to 1,536 crit chance. Increase your critical damage. Done by 1% for every minor buff you have active, up to 12%. Hmm. A lot of PvE videos with this set, probably. <laughs> Silvers of the Null Arca. Bruh. These names. Crit chance, minor slayer, crit chance, damage. Perfected only. Dealing critical damage gives you a stack of silver for 10 seconds. You can gain one stack of silver every 0.5 seconds. Whenever you gain that third stack, your stacks are consumed and the crystals launch at the enemy. Okay, new bow sword set. New bow sword set. I'm gonna have to farm this when that comes out. Say, uh, that's a ridiculous tooltip. Um, because they show on here these are the unscaled vor versions, and this is the base tooltip. So, unlike my bow sword, that's probably gonna be like 10k or something ridiculous. I'm scared, bro. I'm scared. Bow sword's gonna be dumb with this. Uh, crit chance, crit chance. 
All right, light. This is medium, too. Ah, it's medium, bro. What the freak? Zorian's masterpiece magic. Pair with Mecha Cutie. Bro, there's, this, this, is, this is a nasty little set right here. I mean, it has a five-second cooldown, but you can get those real quick. Maybe even for just Sork in general, because that'd be interesting. All right, got to test that set, dude. Magic, Aegis, Magic Recovery, Max Magic. Increase your Max Magic and Stamina by 1,667 for you and up to 11 other group members than 28 meters of you. This bonus persists through death. Mid. Lucent Echoes, heavy. Healing taken, minor Aegis, max health. Whenever you have more than... Hold on, I'm sorry. Uh, Alright. Hear, hear me out. Galarian's Revenge and this set on Bosork. Goodness gracious. Oh my gosh. We're testing that. That's the first thing we're testing. Lucent Echoes, heavy. Okay, blah, blah, blah. This is a tank set. While you have more than 50% health, increase your critical damage in the healing of your group members by 11%. Group members wearing Lucent Echoes cannot benefit from this set. While you have 50% health or less, reduce your damage taken from monsters. Okay. New Mythic Items! Look at this! Sorry. Rurkid Stream Guards. Heavy Hands. What is this? Oh, here, here's, the, here's the one that everyone was looking at. Activating block while in combat grants you Steam Guardian. For 5 seconds, 0 0.5 seconds, reducing your damage taken by 99%. This effect can occur once every 10 seconds. Blocking an attack while Steam Guardian is active reduces its cooldown by 5 seconds. Oh. Oh. Oh, freak. We didn't need that extra little cooldown. The 10 seconds was fine, but the fact that you can block an attack, which you're probably going to when you use this, um... Isn't there another block set up here that we just looked at too? Where is it? Where's it? Where's it? There's another block set. Hey, maybe I'm tweaking. I don't know. I think I remember reading one. Anyways. Um all right. Shadow Queen's cowl, light head. While crouched, you can see witness. Okay, there's the PvE one. So you can like see uh the guards and stuff through walls. Let's see. What else does it do? Applies distracted to them for 10 seconds, stunning your target. Decreases stealth detection radius by 30 meters against distracted targets. Bleh. For all... Hey guys, welcome back to uh, my number one gold making method. 100% um, uptime for block tanks and PvP? No. Not 100% uptime, but very good uptime. Um, but you have to activate block, so if you're you have to tap block again in order to activate this from the looks of it. But uh, if you do that, and it's like a, uh, basically like you parry your opponent's attack when you do that, for the 0 0.5 seconds, um, you reduce the cooldown of this, meaning you can get it back real quick. Definitely have this on some proc set timer cool, uh, add-ons and stuff, um, so you know when you get the thing. The Saint Seducer Neck. Oh, here's this interesting one. While you're in combat, gain one of five random major buffs. Oh, this can stack with trickery too. Enemies within twelve meters of you gain one of five random minor debuffs. Oh, only minor debuffs. Available buffs and debuffs are bro freaking force, bro. Major force and courage. Evasion's kind of easy to get. Berserk is all right to get. Resolve super easy to get, but force. Increase. What's the range on this? 12 meters? Okay, so like you have to be a melee build and stuff. Until he reads what they're doing with makeup. What? Oh no. Oh no. I'm scared now. Alright, so there's some new stuff we can dig up out of the ground. That's cool. Uh, outfits. Achievements. 
blah, blah, blah. Is there anything cool that I can get that I want? To, at least? I have to look at all these when they come out on the PTS. Where is the PTS at anyways? Is it available to us? Nope, it is still down. Dies. Ooh, we get some more dies. I'll look at those two. New Tales of Tribute deck. I don't really care about that. New Homes. Rose Rhine Retreat. Uh, mid Furnishings. Probably good. Look pretty cool. What is this? HDR support. In this update, we've added HDR for PC. In order to use HDR, supported monitor and enabled windows. What is this? High definition resolution. What is this, Grease? Oh, yeah, but it'll probably break my performance if I enable it, right? Oh, here we go, here we go. This is going to make me look more beautiful. All right, here we go. Character resolution. Building off the min spec changes in update 41. We made additional adjustment to how your game handles the resolution of other characters. Wait, wait. Oh, no, it's bro. It's only bro. Oh, no, I want my character to look more high definition. Is that too much to ask for? As always has been the case, characters that are clo listen, characters that are closest to you will appear the highest resolution, and we offer. And as characters move further away, their resolution will decrease. As said, we have increased the distance before resolution drops, so basically my performance is also going to be taxed with this change. Additionally, the max number of characters that we show at this highest resolution was previously capped at a low number. We decided to, we have added new graphic settings on PC. Character resolution, which allows you to control the presets. Oh, so I could turn it down all the way and get better performance. Yes. Increasing the preset. Okay. Mail improvements! Look at this. We've made a number of interface and system improvements to mail. All changes outlined below. Okay. Mail is now automatically sorted into three categories. Player mail, system mail, and system alerts. Okay. Player mail is now sorted based on expiration with most recently received messages displayed at the top. Okay, that's nothing really super new. Delete after claim option. Take all. It, it already takes everything. Does it like take every single mail? Listen. Mail notifications upon logging in. You will now receive a notification if you have mails. Hireling. Okay, what is this? Lore library? Oh, so I can't send out hirelings to go get extra stuff. Okay, interesting. Mail revamp, boys! This changes everything! This changes everything. New video coming out tomorrow. This changes everything. Mail revamp. Let's go. Sorry. Um, okay. Interesting. Environmental sustainability. Bruh, what? Sustainable, what? Working to reduce our environmental impact. <laughs> For gamers to reduce their env their environmental impact while gaming to do so. We've added the following features. So it's just so you don't waste as much power while you leave ESO on in the background. Okay, that's pretty neat. Oh. What is this? We've added a new state to health bars for healing immunity, which will display on a target which will display on a target that is immune to your heals. For example, with Ring of the Pale Order, other players will see your healing as immune, but since you can heal your only yourself, your own health bar will display normally. Group frames and nameplay health bars will now also display absorb shields, healing traumas wait what healing absorbs trauma and healing immunity. Okay, so we have more information on what people um Got on. Okay. New achievements. Oh, wait. Weapon skills. Yes, we already talked about this. Right, there's also a new achievement that is awarded for completing a decade's worth of Tamriel main stories. Goodness gracious! Better get something cool from this. Did I even complete Gold Road, bro? <laughs> During this PTS cycle, we're going to supply two templates. 
It can you restore my crowns? I maybe have like five hundred crowns left on the PTS. I can barely test stuff. Right. Ascribing centric template. Oh wait. Okay, so ascribing centric. This starts you off with the scalarium as well as some scribing items and unlocks. Um, so I'll st probably start with this one instead. Additionally, both templates will now grant one million archival fortunes. <laughs> No issue, antiquarians, foil lead, just not currently grant wields. Listen. Gameplay. Vault movement position may oftentimes not properly displace you or improperly displace you. Trample may look very strange when going through areas with terrain differences. Um, no free crowns. I have to purchase my crowns on the PTS so I can keep testing. So, everyone that was on the PTS before got... Okay, so my problem is, right, back before they made this weird change where your crowns didn't refresh, um, when they made that change, across the board, everyone I know got 50,000 crowns to play with. My crowns never went up. So I was maybe at like 3k crowns because of all the testing I was doing, and I noticed when the PTS cycle flipped back around, I didn't get any more crowns. Um, unlike all my other friends that got the crowns. So, mine have just been slowly being drained for a while now. And they want me to pay money to get crowns back on the PTS. That's ridiculous. That That's incredibly dumb. Um, that is a new low for Zenimax. So stupid. Many scribed abilities may improperly populate combat logs, uh... Okay, so they're still working on that. Scribed abilities do not properly interact with passive items. And so, what? Okay, so like, if I want to proc like Tarnished Nightmare with a scribed ability, it sometimes won't happen. Interesting. Uh, every time I say new low, they go lower still. Yeah, I definitely wasn't expecting them to do any of that. These quests that reward ink do not properly. Okay, so these are the known issues that they have. Get down to the more fun. Oh, here we go. Greetings! The big chapter of the year is upon us, and one of the most exciting. And wait, this one is quite exciting with the addition of scribing. Due to this large feature, as well as some following suit of previous years, this update will be lighter in terms of actual combat adjustments to the existing gameplay. Much of the team has been incredibly hard at work to make sure that the scribing hits the ground running and that we have more time to iterate on ability values and bugs during this PTS cycle. For the live combat experience, expect to see mainly bug fixes and iterative work. Okay, happy with the bug fixes. And a small handful of target balance changes for some outliers. As for some of the more impactful changes coming, we have a very small number of class changes aimed at helping with some issues that we've seen um, some long-term feedback on. Templars may be delighted to hear that they now have access to some crowd control. What? In what? You had crowd control. You have Javelin. You have one of the best crowd controls in the entire game. Hopefully assisting with their tanking and jabbing and capabilities. Dark Shades for Nightblade will now always deal a- What? Actual cleave damage and a debuff application for tanking. Warrens may finally have some value to their Betty Netch outside of PvP, where it will now grant a small increase to your weapon to your damage done for a short duration if it fails to remove a negative effect. Finally, Necromancers have regained some raw power back in their tethers as they've fallen in <laughs> Well, this is by this, this is by your choice that they've fallen into decay over the last year or so because Okay, let's keep going. Outside of the classes, we also have a small handful of changes to those who howl at the moon. Oh my gosh. That, bro. You might as well have said uwu at the end of that. Giving some good head power pats. Oh my. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to read this out loud. It feels. Ugh. Generally speaking, they've fallen far enough. But... These puns are as bad as the ones Ninja makes. Goodness gracious. So we're going through with some of their abilities to add meaningful buffs while also trying to do a better job of representing the existing playstyles for them. This includes pack leaders out there who prefer to protect their... What? 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 Are they getting buffed? Interesting. 
about covers a high level view for this update. We are very much looking forward to your feedback for both combat adjustments and also the ever exciting scribing feature. Stay safe out there. Happy 10 years of ESO and we hope to see you in Tamrio. I really hope that they take my feedback into consideration because every time I report a ticket on the PTS about something that is wrong with the game, I never get any feedback from it and it really upsets me because there are some bugs that go onto the live server that could have been fixed if they would have just given my ticket the time of day. But unfortunately, a lot of the stuff that I put in those tickets uh, never gets addressed and then it's bugged when it comes to the live server. Um, I guess I need to have a forum account and then complain. Um, how many more levels do I need to go through before I can start getting stuff fixed that I find? Um, I just feel like my PTS feedback is not super, you know, it's not taken into consideration and it annoys me. Just keep reading! Here we go, guys. All right. Fix an issue with many movement orientated abilities, such as Misform, where they could have their animations broken by roll dodging at the frame activation. Roll dodge are now temporary. Good test. It. Give me this. Let's test this. Because I saw Fructoman sent this to me in my uh, server. Let's see. This better not freaking apply to Streak. A freak? Can I, like, roll dodge while misforming? Is that what's going on? I did not know this was a thing. Okay, well, now that everyone knows this is a thing, it's going to be abused um, until the update. A freak. Oh, that's the wrong bar. <laughs> yeah, you could roll dodge going into... Uh... Oh. Alright, you got to get on Sork. I'm gonna test this with streak. Cause I don't think you can with streak. Streak kinda locks you out of things. But it is considered a movement ability, so we're gonna find out. Oh, I did roll dodge while streaking. Probably need to move it to square so I can activate it a little faster. You can roll dodge while streaking? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh no. The fact that you put this in the patch notes Zinimax is not good. I'm abusing this. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna use this in PvP. Th that's ridiculous. So, you don't even need the ball lightning morph of streak anymore on, on Sork. You don't, because you could just roll dodge instead. What? <laughs> it looks funny too. It also makes it super quiet. Listen. That's the normal sound effect, right? Then you do the roll streak. It's quiet. It's super quiet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so goofy. Okay, back to the notes. Fixed an issue where your channeled heavy attack animations would break and lock you into the action if you hit escape during their channel. Now you can act. What? Fixed an, fix an issue where some player abilities were not properly respecting line of sight checks. This includes the following Blessing of Protectionist, Morris, Fungal Growth, and oh, of course, all defensive abilities. Now they finally fix them, ignoring line of sight. So you could literally just heal people through the wall. Good, they're fixing this. Good. Uh, they fixed it with damage. Now they're fixing it with heals, um, some of them. Radiating regeneration, rapid regeneration still works through walls, though, because it's not addressed in here, and it still goes through walls on the live server. Um, don't ask me how, it just does. Fix an issue where some knockback effects could uh, desync their impacted targets for remote clients if the attack that applied the knockback also killed those targets. This is mainly notable in places such as Sunspire. Okay. Arcanist! Oh, boy. Cephalarch's Flail. This more now ranks up. 1.1% healing per rank, resulting in 3.3 additional healing in rank 4. Um, rather than reducing its cost per rank, as a morph upgrade does not interact with the cost at all and was offering too many unique advantages. This this is a very dense skill. It does a lot for you, that is true. Dragonite, Ardent Flame, Fiery, Grip. Okay, Chains of Devastation, fixed an issue where this morph could sometimes cause your character to face the wrong direction. Pain. Uh-oh. Necromancer, Gravelord, Shocking Siphon, increase the damage per tick of this ability 
and it's marked by 33%, so they are closer to stationary damage over time effects, rather than being treated as sticky damage over time effects. Storing tether, increase the healing per tick in this. Okay, it's only 14%. So they're closer to stationary. Okay, interesting. Okay, summon shade, dark shade. This morph shade now only uses its area of effect attack rather than once every five seconds and then swapping to single target attack. Help add more cleave options for damage during the class. I thought Nightblade wasn't supposed to have pets, but now shade is a pet. Um. Well, it's been a pet, but listen. Adjusted the visual effects to appear as drain power rather than whirlwind to make it feel more nightblade appropriate. And, oh no. Sorcerer blood magic. Stealth streaks? What? What do you mean stealth streaks? Where is it? Where, where is the stealth streaks? Oh, you mean, oh, you're back behind the stream. Yeah, you can like roll your streak. I didn't know you could do that. Now I know. Dark magic, blood magic. This passive now activates when you cast a dark magic ability rather with a cost rather than when you hit an enemy with a directly. I don't like this. One of the strengths of sorcerer was your ability to go full offense, if you, especially if you had crystal weapon. But now it looks like every time we deal damage with our crystal weapon, so like we're not going to get our heal from this anymore. Um, this is a nerf. This is a big nerf. You probably don't understand how big of a nerf this is yet. Um, it's not a nerf if you just use Crystal Frag. Um, it's actually a buff if you use Crystal Frag, but for Crystal Weapon users, this is a big nerf. Templar, Adric Spear, Spear Shards, Blazing Spear, this morph now causes the initial hit to immobilize enemies for four seconds. Um, it's not more heals, it's less heals. Templar tanks have been slowly creeping into the scene as we've tried to find ways to empower their crusade, but still lacking in defense. What? Templar tanks are still immortal. Quiet. Sunshield fixed an issue with this ability and its more visual effects could fail to appear. If a Templar builds to not die, they're not going to die. Simple as that. Storing aura fixed an issue with this ability and its morphs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Warden animal companions. Betty Nash, this ability and its morphs now increase your damage down by 5%. For five seconds, if no negative effect was removed from the ability. The Warden just got a random 5% damage buff um, for everything it does. Because it will try and remove a negative effect every five seconds. And if it doesn't remove a negative effect, well, you get 5% damage. That's interesting. And uh, kind of OP. Because they already have, they already have what? This will stack as well. If it get, if it granted you, if it granted you, uh, what is it? Minor Berserk? I think it'd be fine because you already have Minor Berserk on your wings for Bird of Prey, which is what most people use in PvP. But for this, the fact that you can stack it means you have technically Major Berserk if you have Netch on and wings. So, and then you can stack it with Major Berserk if you're doing a two-handed build. 20% damage... I'm playing, I'm, bro, I'm playing a Warden. I gotta try a Warden with this. This 20% damage just... Bro. Oh no, they have a lot of percent damage modifiers now. Yeah. Not rocking the boat too much in PvP. 5% may not seem like a lot, but now when you look at it as a whole, there's a lot of ways to stack damage now. Whoa, rapid fire. What is this? Fixed an issue where this ultimate and the toxic barrage morph and the visual effects could become stuck on a target. Oh, yeah. That was an annoying bug. Fixed an issue where these two abilities also shot phantom arrows, dealing 10 instances of damage, despite only shooting 9 arrows maximum. Total damage per cast has remained relatively untouched. Bleh. Toxic barrage increase. What? Ah! Can we uh, decrease the damage over time? What? The new damage pro what? This didn't need a buff. It already has a 130k tooltip. Woo! What? Oh my god. So what? That's a 150k tooltip now? On an average Nightblade that uses this? So we went from 130k damage over time over like, what, 9 seconds? To 150k damage over that's 20k more damage bro 
Woo. Whose mans wrote this script? Yeah, it's almost best in slot for ganking now for bows. Way better than in cap if it just got a 200. It, bro, it just gained two, bro, 20k, just 20k damage. This tooltip is already insanely high. It didn't need this. PTS is up. We're hopping on here in a minute. World, Soul Magic, Soul Trap. Fixed an issue where this ability and this morph would fail to fill a soul gem if the target died first tick. Here's the werewolf changes. Werewolf transformation. This ultimate is this morph's light and heavy attacks now ble deal bleed damage rather than physical. Okay, I like that change. That's actually pretty good. Um, it does nerf Sork werewolves though a little bit. These attacks now have a chance to apply their status effect hemorrhaging with flight attacks at 3%. Partially charged heavy attacks 5%. And fully charged heavy attacks at 10%. Interesting. Roar! This ability and his ferocious roar morphs now apply a unique debuff called Terrified to enemies when you hit them for 10 seconds. Terrified does not do anything outright other uh, than place a tracking effect on enemies to help werewolves mark their prey. <laughs> <coughs> it's such a roleplay thing to do. That's so funny. I kind of like it. Deafening roar. The morph now grants major protection. <laughs> Wait, do we still get major or savagery? Heavy attacks to taunt enemies, bro. Uh, piercing how this ability and its morph no longer deal 10% damage bonus to enemies facing them, but instead deal 10% bonus damage to enemies that are terrified. Okay, so that's some interesting synergy there. Owl of Agony, this morph now deals an additional 10% damage bonus to off-balance enemies, stacking up to 20% when they're terrified, rather than dealing 25% enemies that are facing. Morph now also ranks up with the cost reduction, rather than ranking up the bonus damage effect. Oh man! Werewolf lost a good spammable, bro. This was the only thing on Werewolf that dealt any good damage. Knew how to use it. Um, Pain. How of Despair. Extended the duration and the buffs granted from Feeding Frenzy up to 20 seconds from 10. Okay, it's not. Seed Shield. Propelling Shield. What is this? Oh no, Seed Shield. Gotta change. This ability now only affects abilities with a range of 28 meters or greater to ensure that it behaves. What? Wait, is she this is Seed Shield. Wait, did it, did it always block projectiles? Let's see. So you're saying Seed Shield does not defend you from oils anymore is what I'm reading. So oils are going to run rampant in Cyrodiil next update. Um, according to this because oils don't have a range on them like Trebuchets and ballistas do. Let's see if I have any on me. No, I don't. That's that's crazy, dude. That's that's dumb. If that is the case, like they don't. <laughs> What's the point of this? You use seed shield so you can put it on the ram so you can go through the door without getting murdered by oils. Okay, but now we're all just gonna melt to death. Great change. Great change. Yeah, but. No, that's not good, Deadpool. That's not good. That complicates so many things. It's so dumb. Wait, it's only for this. Wait, it's only for this morph. Hold on. Wait. Okay, well, I'm probably just stupid. Um, It's not about blocking siege damage. Oh, it. let me read it again. Ability now only affects rage 28 meters. I don't know how the seed shield morphs work because I don't use seed shield, but I just want to make sure it still blocks oils. As long as it blocks oils, I think we're fine. Oh, I'm freaking gonna have to look this up on Google. Seed shield. What does it even currently do? I don't even care if I spread. Go book. Give me. What does this do? Helling shield. Okay. Boss less and allies are granted a shield gain and increased range. Okay, so no, you're right. Okay, so it still blocks oils. That's good. 
Imagine they just took it off so it doesn't block oils anymore. That'd be so stupid. Gradual Ravage Health fixed an issue where these potions with these traits could trigger many events such as item sets. Okay, so no more proccing stuff like Tarnished with this. Crafted sets, Cold Harbor's favorite fixed an issue where Honor would often spawn in dead. Okay. One sword from this set no longer has a second sword appearing on the ground. Uh, I'm skipping to Rush of Agony because this is... Okay. The set now has a 8 millisecond cooldown for attempting to pull targets to increase the amount of reaction time enemies have before they're yanked. The pool now properly interacts as a projectile with a maximum travel time of 200 milliseconds and animates the pool actively to reduce the feel of the rubber banding. Oh, oh, that'll be nice. So you can actually dodge rush Rush's pool now. Um, if you roll it, that's awesome. Um, increase the radius of the pool to 12 meters up from 10 to help offset some of the reductions to the impact for the wearer. The delayed damage remains unchanged. Um, still happening after two seconds from activation, and dealing damage within a seven meter radius. So you can dodge the pull, but the damage is still going to hit. But I like the ability to be able to dodge the pull of Rush now. Um, it's pretty good. Well, you know, there's a few there's a few reasons why this set is strong. It's mainly because of the pull and the fact that you can ping pong people with it. But this set is still obnoxious. Chokethorn fixed an issue where this set could trigger off of events other than ability cast. It will now only activate during activation of abilities that meet its requirements rather than on effects that abilities have applied as well. Okay, so there's going to be probably less random choke thorn procs from healers. Um, okay, Mad Tinkerer fixed an issue. Failed to blend smoothie. Listen, can you fix the one where it sends me into the roof while I'm at a mile gate? Please fix that. Uh, less grease, 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 grease. Oh. Alliance War in PvP, look at this. They the functionality of combined repair kits to now include bridges! Look at that. Battlegrounds fix a specific case where occasionally the Chaos Ball could be obtained but would fail to damage the carrier and their allies and fail to appear. Yes! Good job, Zinamax! You fixed it, finally! Picking up the Chaos Ball would now actively flush all other actions your character is taking at the moment. Uh, interfered with that position. What? Okay, well, uh, there's no more glitching the Chaos Ball out. There's, there's, this specific case, there's a bug you can do to, uh, purposefully do this, and a lot of people have been picking up on it, and good, they're fixing it. Fixed an issue where the Chaos Ball's ramping damage always acted as if you held the ball for one extra tick, dealing slightly more damage than intended. Okay, the Chaos Ball will now properly showcase how many stacks of rampaging damage and healing shield reduction it applies. Okay, Chaos Ball will now also display effect text on your character sheet, you hover over your stats effects accurately describing its mechanics and current penalties. Awesome. Fix an issue where each tick of the Chaos Ball caused hit reduction on targets inside of it, making it extra annoying. <laughs> yes. Itemization. Blah, blah, blah. Siege. Fix an issue where cold fire trebuchet. Can you nerf this, please? Need to be direct hits on other siege weapons to damage them, unlike other siege. Oh, no. Uh... Character will now be fully automatically dismounted if you are mounted while previewing certain types of products. Merchant or inventory. Fixed an issue. This this still I thought this was oh this oh we're outside of the uh, PvP stuff now, Pain. Um let's see, let's see, let's see. Monsters and PCs, grease, grease, grease. So yeah, no changes to a Tarnished Nightmare or any big changes to my gank blade, so I can actually go ahead and make the build video, which is a relief, because I've been working on this build video, maybe I've probably put like 20 hours into it so far, and I'd like to post it, and it's good that I don't see any big nerf changes to uh, the playstyle, so you guys can actually use it for a patch or two um, before it gets changed, that's nice. I still feel like it's going to get changed maybe later in the patch notes, but for this week, 
I'm gonna go ahead and make the video and finish it if I can. Can we get a new BG map, please? No. No, we can't. I'm sorry, we can't. First morph, yeah, okay. How about making people take damage if they won't jump down to fight? Oh yeah, so they, they take damage if they just camp in their spawn. Well, actually, camping in spawn is okay. I don't mind people camping in their spawn as much as I used to. Because uh, I camp and spawn sometimes, so I could just be very annoying. But, um. Let's go on to PTS since apparently it's live. Double check that. Oh. <laughs> yes. Right. PTS time, boys. Alright, boys. PTS, let's do it. Boys, ready? Test some grease! Alright, let me make you guys big again. Because I made chat small. There we go. Wait, can I just control Z that a few times and it'll fix it? Yeah, okay. Why is it offset now? Fix. Stop! Why are you so strange? Please. There we go. We gotta like make a new character in Greece and stuff in Greece and stuff. Put you guys back up. You had seventy k crowns on the PTS the other day, bro. I probably still only have about like a thousand crowns, not even a thousand, like five hundred crowns left. I'm supposed to test stuff on the PTS. Who's this? Display capture. Where? Uh, Gold Road. Turn it off. Fix. Go into the corner. Why are you small again? Get big. Get big. Here we go. Display capture is acting goofy. I'm sorry. Hold on. This like shrinks it. But then it's there. It's weird. Fix. And we're done. Okay. Alright, yeah. I gotta get the gold road. Uh, enter the code. I gotta get this still. Uh, confirm. Wait. Look at him! It's me. Look at him. It's me. All right, let's test that streak thing right away. We'll see how that feels. Cause uh, can you roll dodge after streaking? That's a big question. And also, did I get crowns? Did get crowns? This is literally where I was standing on the live server. Nope. I still nope. Okay. Well, it gave me more crowns. A little bit more crowns. <laughs> Literally just copied the server over right now because this is the exact same bar setup I have. Oh, you can roll out of it. Okay. Okay, so it's fine. You just can't roll you can't you can't preemptively roll the streak anymore. Okay, so that's not that's not gonna be a big deal. Alright, but just kinda concerned about it a little bit. Looks fine. And, uh, if that is the case, we go over to the Night Blade. My build should be the same. Let me turn on some music. So this should not have changed at all. Looks good. Looks good. Looks grease. Yep. Okay. We're fine. Now let's go buy some new character slots. Wait, that's an armory slot. Uh, upgrades. Up. Hidden. Yes. See how many of you guys are on the PTS right now? Dormy, dormy, look at him. Look at him. Alright. Let's go take a look at these skill lines. Describing. Oh, they're hidden. What? 
Why do they have weird abilities next to them? They got weird stuff like, look at them. Is it because it's like, uh, like, you can turn off skills advisor. Does that make them go away? That's what that is. That's the uh, change style. Ruby red. Oh, that's what that is. Okay, that's that's cool. That's how you change it. <laughs> Burnt orange. Oh, listen, listen. I'm learning. Cut me some slack. All right. Got that, uh, new soul ability. Orchard purple. Look at him. Look at him. Yeah. Alright. Uh, make the thing. Gold road. Scribing toolkit. Give me. Like, cat. I'm gonna do randomize because I don't care. How do you randomize on PC? Oh, here we go. Really matter. I'll get on and test stuff. We do. We do grease blade. We do grease blade. Um. Is that taken? No, it's not taken. Let's wield. Look, we're in a new zone. Look at him. Let's wield. Look at all these people. Look at them. Why is everyone covered in glass? Why am I covered in glass? What is this? Why am I- why am I being attacked? Who is this? I- I- listen. 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 That's rude. Literally just spawn in and I'm being attacked and murdered. Why are my gloves green? What is this? Okay, so you use this if you're gonna go farm, uh, what is it? Um, that one place, Skyreach. That's where you, that's what you use that for. Alright, time to use up my non-replenishable crowns to upgrade my character. Ooh, I actually do 15 so I can actually stay on the low end of spending all of my crowns that don't come back! Is there mean? thing I can think of is we need to become vampire. Upgrades. Become vampire. What's up, Sonny? Glass gear looking kind of drippy. Kind of. Look at him. Kind of drippy. Alright, I gotta fix all my settings. Uh, controls, general, combat. Oh, whoa, there's a lot of other stuff on here now. And there's that. Cabra. FOV fix. Do, do, do. This gameplay prevent attacking innocence, so I don't stab people in the face. Auto loot. Quick cast ground abilities on. Uh, prevent stealing placed items, yes. New plates. Bars left. Frame border self. Dirt. Enemies. Always. Always. Always, always. All the pet stuff is on still. All right, boys. One to PTS. Let me go get the craft house, and uh, we'll begin the shenanigans. Let me grab the house code. Craft house, craft house, craft house. Ha 
Hex, 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 yes. Has crowns cost one? I'm on the PTS. Yes, I have Hex. Yeah, unfortunately, my crowns don't refresh, so eventually I'm going to run out, and Zenimax is going to make me buy more if I want to test their game. Which is incredibly stupid, and I don't know why they think that's a great idea. Oh, look at this glorious specimen. What a beautiful man. Let's see. Can we see the, Can we notice the high resolution textures that they added to the characters? He just looks depressed. See what kind of new drip we got. Did they fix this? Do I have stuff connected? Did they fix this? I do have stuff connected. Look. <laughs> Did they fix it in this? Please tell me they fixed this. No, they didn't. That, that, nope, I still have to fight my daggum freaking coffers to unlock stuff. <laughs> Alright, let's knock out this CP before we save our build so that way everything has their flat values. Don't have to keep going back to the CP to fill it out every single time we want to make a build. We don't do the blue CPs because uh, we adjust those. We need them. Yes. Next, I'll gift you some. I have 75k for whatever. Listen. Listen here, Splinter. I think you're hacking. And you need to stop. I just don't think Zenimax likes me, that's all it is. <laughs> that's why they don't give me more crowns to test with. I have enough to test. It's just like, I like looking at big numbers of crowns. And I'm kind of jealous that all my friends got a lot of crowns and I didn't. So. Um, anything else we need to do? Is our mount speed leveled up all the way? Yes, it is. PTS Grease. PTS Chris, let me move my chat to the corner. Alright. Let's look at his scribing stuff. Do they appear now in my skill lines? Thought I had scribing. How does this work? Do I have the uh, the cool variations of them unlocked on here? Listen. Do I have to open them in coffers? Is that what I got? What? Oh. Skiff. You were of everything else. Oh, they fixed it. Okay, well, um, that that's kind of. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Hold on. <laughs> yes. This is a two-handed thing. I need a two-handed thing. Wait, do I have... Yes. E, nope. Arenas. British friends. I unlocked a Grimoire. I, I, don't, I don't know how this works. Uh, I want to see my, my cool new red slash, though. Oh, I'm going to put this in there. I want to see my cool new drippy red slash. I can barely even notice it. What was it? Orange before? <laughs> Why? This just feels very insignificant. I'm pretty sure it was like orange or white before. It's orange before, bro. Bray. Color can I make the dawn breaker? Oh, right, we get blue vigor, too. Put it on. Okay, that's kind of neat. Blue vigor OP. I still like the old one, though. The old one just has a special place in my heart. Purple Dawnbreaker! Purple Dawnbreaker? 
do meteor. We'll look at all of them. Oh my gosh. I like that. Ooh, yeah, I like that. I like the purple Dawnbreaker. Be getting this one for sure. How do I get this one? That's kind of OP, bro. All right, we do meteor. Let's go to meteor. He's coming. Red meteor. Red meteor. Oh, it's got the red runes too. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Take it off. Let's see the original one again. This is like blue and stuff. It just feels so weird. All my stuff is different colors. Like, this does not feel like ESO. Yes, I am expressing myself. When can I get a rainbow, uh... What is it? A rainbow... What, the beam on, on on Templar? I want, like, a rainbow beam on Templar. So, like, whenever I, I shoot rainbows out of my hand to kill people, that'd be, that'd be overpowered. I'm sold. Yeah, that's right. Hold on. Another orange meteor for you while I'm blue because I use my vigor. Boom. Um. Look at them. Look at them. They're like a color. Can I race against time color change? No. Okay. Warhorn has a color? What? What is this? Change all Arcanist abilities to Rainbow, that'd be OP. It was like yellow before, bro. Like, what's the point? Yeah, like, it just darkens the tones a little bit. Goofy. Goofy grease. Change this mage like to green. <laughs> green, green. For Arcanist roleplay purposes, we need to fix scalding rune so it has a cool effect to it. Like imagine, I don't like the regular blue scalding rune. It should be like red, because red equals pain. Regular entropy. Wait, that's the wrong button. Blue. You can't see anything. Structured entropy is more visible. Check proxy. De what? Can't I can't change proxy de Blue. Right. Then we do this. Drip, 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 drip. Yellow. Ooh. This would be cool for Templar. Blue Vigor is so weird. So strange. Soul Trap. It's already purple. What? Oh, wait, it's blue. That's right, it's, already, it's blue, it's not purple. Purple. Well, Oblivion's foe is purple, so it's weird. Double dip with that. Can I change this? Can't change soul strike pain. Uh, sorry. I want to look at all the cool drip. Oh yes, yes. This one. For new staff. Purple! Oh my gosh, that's obnoxious! Holy moly, that is obnoxious! My eyes, goodness gracious. The frick? Wait, huh? Purple, mi purple elemental, bro. This guy is stealing my target. Hold on. Okay, regular elemental susceptibility. Okay. All oh, this is gonna be so annoying. Oh my gosh. This is this is gonna be so annoying.
Bro. What? What? Yeah, so everyone sees the color. It's just customizing the color of your abilities. That's basically it. So snipe as well. Snipe on. Oh, let's look at this obnoxious again. All right. Avert the eyes. All right. So snipe has color too. So I guess it changes the tra the tracer of it, like the the bow tracer. Scarlet red. So like, is the arrow flies toward the miss red now? Okay, that fits for night blades. It's kind of goofy. And you can get a green version by default if you take this off and you do lethal arrow, right? Because the regular version of this is green. Yeah, it's green. It's green uh, without anything. You can change it to red if you want to be like a night blade grease. Red poison inject. Oh my goodness. Glorious. Glorious. Yes, take my money. Take all of my money. All of my money, take it. Sorry. Don't take my money. UI error. I'm supposed to be able to change the style of this. Okay, Zenimax, we found a bug. Uh, I can't change the style of my trap beast. Paid. I wish it would change the color that you see on your tooltip as well. Um, the fact that this is still green, not red, is kind of weird. I like it to be green, and I want purple wall of elements on my bar. I require these things. But, uh, overall, goofy little change. This still annoys me, kinda. Maybe I'll get used to it, but blue vigor is so weird. Look at it. Look at it. Blue vigor. Who made this? Who's man's? Alright, so let's go make some spells and stuff. Let's be OP. Okay, so how do we make spells? Gotta go talk to like an idiot in uh, the thing. What is this? Oh, you can now access Avea from the uh, the world portal. Okay, that's cool. You couldn't do this before. You always had to go to the Mages Guild to get here. All right, that's neat. Um, so where is gold? Oh, it's right here. Look at him. All right, let's go here. Oh, it always me. Look at him. See how I was. Look at him. Ooh. The spell crafting just change the color of an effect. No, spell crafting lets you uh, add stuff to your abilities. Cheeto dust meteor. That's right. Oh, there you are. I have been expecting you. All right. Everyone is made of glass. Look at him. Bro, friggin'. Load up. Load up. Load up. Sorry. Okay, so we gotta go to like the Mages Guild. I do realize I'm naked, but I do not care. Alright, so we go in there, I reckon. Hold on. I need to like put concealed weapon and race against time on so I can actually move. This didn't get changed at all. Silent buff. Nope. Still remains the same. And then we get... I'm sad we don't get race against time colors. Race against time colors would be OP. I gotta put rally on just cause it feels right. Like it feels weird not having it there. Just to buff myself while I'm randomly walking around. Yeah, I might as well put cloak on too in case we accidentally do something stupid. 
At this point, I'm just gonna make the whole build. Oh, and we do need siphoning attacks, so that way we can sprint forever. Perfect bar setup. Just found out this place exists. Look how glorious this place is. Look at it. Look at it. So glorious. Is there an update? Yeah, on the PTS. Is there any OP grimoires that only drop in the trials? I don't know, but we're gonna go make something cool. I'm gonna goof off with that two-handed ability thing. Try and make a gank build out of it. What is it called? It's called like Smash. This this literally just called Smash. Uh, okay. I have been expecting you. Will you. Will you take me to the, uh... Where is it? It's over here. I don't need your help. I got a map. I would go this way. Uh... Wait. Hold on. This is the wrong way. Is that a very place or whatever? It's been around for a while. It's been around uh, since the beginning of the game. Um, it's it's a part of the base game. It's just you can now access it without having to go through the Mages Guild. Um, I used it to level up my scrying because there's no monsters there after you do the quest for the Mages Guild. And everything's like super close together. So you can get your scrying done real, real quick. Let's go make some OP spells. New meta spells incoming. <laughs> Kill the livestock. Listen, I've already had a bounty on me and it did absolutely nothing. So we might. Okay, so I need to wait. Wait a minute. Greetings. I have a message. No. I don't get to the thing. Uh, let's see. like some idiot to talk to I visit the traders here wait what listen how do I I don't I don't know you mr. floaty books what is this no, I don't want your stuff I want to go make spells I want to become shadow wizard how do I Fine. This is this is this is a base quest. Bleh. What is this? I might need to hop on my sword because my sword has the main quest done. And I want to go make some spells. Wait, what? Go to the portal? Okay, I just logged out. What where's the portal? Grease blade. We we'll go back to Grease Blade now. Sorry, listen. I've never done this before, alright? I'm like... <laughs> I'm like... I'm a bot, okay? This portal? This one? This one? Ah! Genius! Genius! Thank you, Kamadar. Thank you. Alright, let's go make some OP spells. Yes. Yes! I shall name my spells... Grease. All variations of Grease. Who's this? Valerian? So I go this way, huh? Yes. 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 Do I have enough inks? I have 200 inks. Smash! 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 Give me smash. Healing? No, I can I like do a non-focus script so I can just smash? It has a 6.6 6 second cast time. Okay. Wait. I need more... Hold on. <laughs> Look at all these people. These freaking shadow wizards. Look at them. I need more... I need more effects. Where do I go get more effects? Hold on. Smash! Um, I know I can buy more effects. I saw it in the video thing. Um, let's see. What is this? The fable of the Natch, as I recall it. Wait, so I can't just buy stuff? Who is this? Nevertheless, an entertaining read. Why are you I so short? Listen. Bosom. 
Do, does anyone know where I go to buy more stuff so I can upgrade my smash and make meta spells? I want to make meta spells. Let me make meta spells. Let me ruin the game. We got a dragon. So I have to complete these little quests. Is this what I got to do? I got to complete these little quests and I get more stuff. However, if you are short on patience for playful antics, what? a prank, no doubt. The net is, I think it like. I hope not. A vague, it enjoys. What? Hey, listen. They don't want me making meta spells. Hold on. Let me in. What? It's already undergoing maintenance. Bro. That quick? What did they break that was so bad that they needed to take off the servers for? <laughs> you just got kicked out too? Oh, they don't want to make me making meta spells. No way. The login attempts enabled in 30 seconds. If not, we're going back to the live server and I'm ganking people. So we can get back on the PTS and make more meta spells. Check the status, because uh, it should update on here. It still says they're up. I'm going to go to the website and take a look. Um... Smash. I did grab everything. I'm trying to figure out uh, why I couldn't... I didn't have any extra effects. I get it. It's undergoing pain. Outcast has a guide. Is it on his website? Alright, let's uh, let's go look at the guide. Let's go find let's go learn this together. Uh YouTube. Go to YouTube. ESO scribing. Someone's already gotta have made a guide. Outcast already has to have a guide. Oh freak, Zionode's got a guide. Wait. Wait. Wanna we, should, we need to go to the website. Hold on. So who'd you say? Outcast? Okay, we go Outcast website. Find it. Let's give him some money by going to his website. Uh, we can... I'm helpless. I don't want to learn about this stuff yet. I want to I wanna make spells. Outcast HQ. Here it is. Alright. Here we go, boys. We found Outcast website, and while we wait for this maintenance to fix itself, uh, we go and we watch all these ads and subscribing. Okay, how do I get more stuff? Oh my gosh, here's the embeds for Fang Rush. I get more stuff. I know how to get started. I know how to get into the scribing thing. I want more spells. There's just ads everywhere. How much money do you think he's making right now off of me just being on his website? This is not helping, Outcast. How do I get to the uh, extra skills? I'm in pain. Hans? It's not helping. Outcast website not help. Hold on. Let me go check on the server status and see. I just went down for some reason. Refresh the page. Eh. Make spells. I mean. Yeah, yeah. Nephis, oh, uh, Nephis is live, and I'm looking at his stream. He's been kicked out too. Let's see. He's trying to log in with his incredibly long password. It's 
kind of hoping that I can get in there and make some spells. Does anyone else have any information, or are we going to have to go to the live server, and then I'll just have to gank people there to take out my frustrations? You guys, you guys got any information? What's up, Rage? Finish scribing? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like, it just, the server just shut down while we were, like, mid-scribe. I was about to make the most overpowered two-handed spell you've ever seen in your entire life. I was about to break the game, and then they had to take the servers down. Alright, we're going to the live server. I'm gonna go kill stuff. Uh, get... Quit. 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 Live. The game messed up your live server? Well, let's see if it messes up mine. What? 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 Wait. Wait, what? This is not good. Th this is not good. Th 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 this is not good. Oh, no. What did they do? What did they do? What the frick did they do? Oh my gosh, what did they do? What did they do? What did they do? What did they do? Cinemax! This... No. 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 Lord have mercy on this game. I want my old CP back. I don't want to be max level yet. It's cringe. I don't even have any of the new stuff. Get me back. Fix it. My vigor's not blue anymore. Why am I freaking grease blade? Well, that means I have literally everything unlocked on this guy. <laughs> freaking grease blade. Oh, that's so stupid. Does that mean... Th th no. No shot. No shot. No shot. Oh my gosh, I've unlocked every weapon style. I I've unlocked every weapon style. Is it easy to stumble off of these areas? That- that means I've unlocked every single die in the game as well. Yeah, I logged on to the live server because the PTS went down. And now I'm CP160. Bro. I, I don't know if I should be playing right now. But I am curious as to what's going on. I've completed every single quest in the game. I have every single achievement. I have everything. Look at me. Journal. Achievements. Wait. Okay, I don't have that many, but, um... That means, that means, that means, that means, that means, that means, that means I have every single die in the game. Yes. I have every single... Zeta Max, what have you done?! What have you done? What have you done? I can be... I can be pink now. Rustia Slaughterfish Flesh Pink. Where is it? It pink. Embrace pink. Yes. Yes. I should not have this die, but yet I have this die, even though I have not completed the achievement. One. Not me. This is. I'm gonna... Um... Mm. <sighs> oh my gosh. That also means... 
technically, I have access to every single set in the game if I go to my PTS character because he should have... He should have the PTS coffers on him, right? In his inventory? No, he doesn't. Okay, good, good, good. That would have been so stupid if they did that. If they let me keep the coffers. Woo! Because then I'd have access to every single set in the game. I wouldn't have to farm- Ah! Look at my currencies! Look at them! I have a million undaunted keys! I have a million- <gasps> What? What? I'm putting it in my bank. I want my stuff. Give me my stuff. Give me my stuff. Nice. Wait. I should not have access to this. I have infinite money! I have infinite money! What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, I hit my desk. No, I have... Oh, dear. Um... This is not good. I don't know how they're gonna fix this. Oh my gosh, I don't know how they're gonna fix this. I want to bank it so bad, but I don't think it's a good idea. I'm not gonna bank. I'm not gonna bank this. I shouldn't have this. Yeah, this is on the live server. Everything from the PTS just transferred over to the live server. Like... What? I'm sure you've all noticed. The Elden Tree is impressive. Mail it to someone else. Equally impressive is that King Comoran Aradon. Don't touch it. Yo. I will definitely get banned if I put it in my bank, that's for sure. So I'm just gonna leave it here. So yeah. This is a, uh, a very strange PTS test. How you guys doing? Good? Uh, I'm gonna go make an outfit. And while they figure out what the heck is wrong, I'm just gonna go drip out this Nightblade and then I'm going to... Oh my gosh. They're gonna have to roll back the servers. They're 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 gonna have to roll back the servers. If you're farming gear right now, get off. Get off and don't play the game. Because they're, they're gonna have to roll back the servers. They're gonna have to go back to a previous snapshot. Because if you're on the game right now, say you're farming Tarnished Nightmare and you're listening to me, do not play the game. Get off and wait. Because they're gonna have to roll back the servers. Because I cannot I cannot be allowed to keep this character. I literally should not have any of this. Yeah, they're going to roll back the server. So if you're grinding something right now, do not, do not go out. Do not, do not farm anything right now. Do not farm anything because this servers, nothing, none of this is going to save. My word, this is so busted. I mean, if I'm going to lose everything, I might as well have some fun with it, right? Uh, let's see. What kind of horrendous drip can we make? Oh my gosh, we have the dream... Oh my gosh, we have dream cover style. Yes. Oh my gosh, I can be a Tarnished Nightmare. Yes.
This should not be allowed at all. Let's see what kind of eggs, 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 eggs. Signature styles. Got all those style pages days ago. Well, I just got them all for free, so. Yeah, that kind of goes hard. Drip. Spiky boots. Um. Does that mean I have. Bro. This is a massive problem, Zenimax. Man, I feel dirty doing this. I don't even want to make an outfit. I don't even know what to do now. Like... Yeah, you guys are witnessing history right now. Let's see. Um, character slots. Oh my gosh. I, on the live... Probably gonna get some crown crates as a as a result. Everyone's probably gonna get some free crown crates when they roll the servers back. I'll tell you that. They're they're gonna have to give us a 15 pack. Bro, they're gonna have to get us a 15 pack of crown crates at this rate. For rolling back, because some people right now, some people right now are farming Tarnish Nightmare. Oh. There we go! They took the servers down. Hey, they're actually doing their best to fix it. What's going on? Um, I went on the PTS. I went on the PTS. I made my character on the PTS to start testing out all the stuff. I wanted to make an overpowered two-handed spell. And then uh, the server went down on the PTS. So then I'm like, okay, well, the server's down on the PTS, so I'm just going to go play on the live server now since I can't play on the PTS anymore. Then I go to the live server, and then my PTS is on the live server. So now I have infinite currency. I have all the character slots. I have everything, and I didn't earn a single thing. What is this? Who made this? This is, this is a big problem. This is ridiculous. We broke ESO. Yep, we broke ESO, boys. Let's go back. If it'll let me log in. They're rolling back the servers right now. They got to, dude. They got to. Oh, this is a disaster. This is what happens. All right. 
listen to me, listen to me. This is what happens when they decide, this is what happens when they decide that they actually want to make changes to how the PTS functions and operates, okay? It, the PTS was, the, okay, so a couple patches ago, the PTS was fine, okay? You got your crate, you logged on, you made your character, and you did all this stuff, okay? And you got, um, you got, okay? You had everything collected, okay? And then, in update 41 when we did the PTS, they decided to shake everything up again. I don't know why. All right, they decide to shake everything up. You don't have anything collected anymore. Um, you now don't regain crowns whenever the week resets. And you also have to pull everything out of the coffer if you want to get some gear put on your character. They fidgeted with the PTS and now they're paying the price. They should have just left it alone. They should have just left it alone. I'm, I'll, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I have Chick-fil-A. And, uh, we're, we're still recovering from the crisis at hand. There's no reason they ever should have messed with the PTS. It was fine in the first place. It was! It was simple. Everyone that went to the PTS understood it. And then they decided to complicate it. And look where we're at. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know? It wasn't broke, but they tried to fix it. And, uh, well... Um... Epic must... Arch... Archive? What? Archive this stream? This stream is already archived. Right. You guys get to witness the unfolding of ESO Live with me. Apparently, you can still log on to the live server, I think. But, looks like they're trying to clear the accounts that logged on to the live server. So, we might be out of luck for a little while. I want to be a billionaire too by doing nothing. I'm still able to log into the game, but I'm just in a queue. So I still have my stuff, technically. Is there any information on this from the devs? Do we get like a post, a note, a tweet?
Well, you missed a lot, Garm. You missed the history of uh, Zenimax actually doing something catastrophic to their servers. They transferred the PTS over to the live servers. One billion gold giveaway, I assume. Nah, they're gonna roll back the servers. They got to. I don't know what they did, but there's some oversight probably. They took it down intentionally because characters deleted on the PTS were deleted on live or as the picture show transferred to live with every item in the game and 1 billion gold. Exactly. I had 1 billion gold on the live server and everything. Um, they got to roll back the servers, dude. I don't know what to do now. Filling Q of Chick fil A. I just wanted to make overpowered spells, bro. Squirrel, are you still... Is anyone... Is Okay, is anyone in my chat still connected to the live server? Or is everyone kicked out? You got 29 minute queue? And hours in and no leads. I hope they backed up their servers, bro. I hope they did. Sup, Christian? We're currently recovering from one of the greatest Zenimax L's in history. And we're waiting to see what happens next. You mean another L. Listen. This is a level we've never seen before. You saw that Skinny Cheeks is still on the live server? Let me go check out Twitch and see who's still connected to the game. We can make fun of people on Twitch, too. Actually, I do have to be careful. You can't test on the EU server, though. They don't have the EU server available on the PTS. So yeah, it looks like it's strictly on just um, in a that we're having this problem um, by the looks of it. Does this mean I go to the EU server and start? Is, is that what this means?
Listen. I don't even know how to switch servers, bro. I really don't want to, bro. I don't want to. Can I switch servers on the PTS? Is that something I'm allowed to do? Testing my gank build, not so good at it. It takes a little bit of getting used to. Um, the hardest part of any gank build is learning how to stay alive and learning where your feet need to be whenever you're trying to track down an opponent or you're going to gank somebody. You need to make smart decisions and not overextend, and you got to be safe when you do it. I'm making a video on my uh, ganker right now. Um, of course, I don't really want to work on it while I'm streaming, but... I might have to if I literally can't do anything else. Good game, to be honest. Honestly. I can give you a sneak preview if you guys want on stream. I can uh, play the combat stuff section for you guys. Um, but I don't know what good that do. Just something to do, rather. Not really sure what to do now. Um, I want to eat my food, though. I'm streaming while I eat dinner. This is OP. Trying to get a dizzy swing sort together, but somehow I want to avoid sets like Tarnished Nightmare. I'm gonna just use the new Mythic. If you can't use the new Mythic, um, well, then you can go for, uh, what is it? Pariah. Pariah is definitely one of those sets you want to run. And then you want to run, well, literally anything else. Like, E-Menus, Essence Leaf, I build for crits with uh, Order's Wrath. You got some options. I just run out of stats and forget to use Rally as a heal. It shouldn't be that much of a problem since you can just spam siphoning attacks and get all your mag back. Um, screw it. We'll turn this section into a Q&A. Come on. Talk to me. Ask me any questions you have about ESO and I will do my best to answer them. We literally have nothing else to do and I'm going to eat some chicken nuggets from Chick-fil-A because they are OP. What kind of desk do I have? I don't know what kind of desk it is, but I, may, I might have pictures. Okay, um, let's see. Hi all, we are currently taking down access to the PTS. We encountered an issue with the PTS once the server went live. This has also caused an issue with the PCNA server. So we will be temporarily taking down the PCNA live server as well. Once we have more information, we will update everyone thanks for your patience as we begin with investigations give me crowns and crown crates back gag them Ugh. if you're not on my discord join the discord so you can come goof off with us see we got emojis we got memes see look i see it i see it uh elijah i see it just like meh. like all I can think of here I can show you a picture of my setup if you want you see my OP gamer setup I took this picture uh, when I got my setup all set up and stuff you see it you see it Great. um go back to discord all right picture there you go this is what my setup looks like so this is my desk that's my mouse that's my keyboard, that's my controller, that's my PC. I got two monitors, one is bigger than the other. Um, I have a desk. Just doing a thing. There you go, uh. Rate my setup, uh, rate it. You transferred the gold to a second account? No, they're going to roll back the servers. That's definitely what they're going to do. They're definitely going to roll the servers back. Looks a bit cramped. I had to squeeze it in because uh, there's not a lot of space in my room. So, 
What's your favorite class with the torque and clean setup? With the new Mythic, my favorite class is by far the Arcanist. The Arcanist gives me the best results whenever I play it with the new Mythic. Uh, they just go hand in hand. Seven out of... Okay, let's see. You guys want to see more pictures? There you go. That's my that's my PC build right there. Um, $2,000 a PC right here. This is what is currently streaming to you guys on the internet. Um, here's another picture. It's a little bit more of a wide angle. You can see it is kind of squeezed up against the wall. Um, let's see. And then, uh, here's another close-up. Uh, there you go. OP. Um, that's, that's the kind of desk I have, Garm. Okay, there you go. Does that answer your question? Yes. I used Torque on my Mag Sork and got 50k max magic and 6k weapon damage. Yeah, sounds about right. So orders with Rally Cry would be good on what? You said a... Uh, dizzy Swing Sork? I have a members video for my Sork, uh, my 2H Sork. But, um, yes, members. But I ran Pariah for defense, Orders Wrath for offense, Shadow as my Munda Stone. And let's see. I had Death Dealers on as well for my Mythic. And I was a cat because I'm a cat. Yours is Wood Elf. I mean, it should still work. I probably wouldn't build for crit, though. Yeah, I'd probably build towards uh, Penetration. Since you're a wood elf and you get that a little bit of extra passive. But also, maybe weapon and spell damage. Honestly, the best thing you could do in your position is build for more percent damage. As in, uh, like, Essence Thief would probably be the best thing you could put on. Is Spriggan's even worth using? No. No. You can literally use Shattered Fate. And... Feel way better about yourself. Like, bruh. Well, um, listen, would you consider two-handed sword or stick to maul with sharp since shattered? You still build for all pin at that point. Yeah, you go all in so you ignore all their armor. I'd stick with a sharp maul.
Let's watch some videos. That's not a bad idea. You guys want to see the scrying video for those of you that haven't seen it? We can uh, we can go watch that. That's fine. Um. We go find it. There's no shot this man actually got to log into the NA server. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm distracted. I have Nephesis stream pulled up on my second monitor. I'm seeing if he switched to the EU server or not. I love how they put you in queue and they don't actually say that the server is down for the live server. That's crazy. What happened? You have to go back and watch it because it's a, a dramatic series of events. He's live and in-game. He went to the EU server, that's why. You can only really, you can only log on on the EU server, so I might have to just go to the EU server and be a bot. Oh. Oh, time to farm Tarnish Nightmare on the EU server. PTS broke the live server, yep. PODR. Alright, let's go watch the uh, describing thing. Uh, let's see. See if I can find it. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted for this, but I just want to show you guys. Um, this is what it should look like. Unfortunately, we can't actually get access to the live server to, you know, play the game and all that. So we have to go to here. Watch this. So this is the Scribing 101. This is what they shared um, for our, since we can't actually access Scribing at the moment because the server is down and all that. Um, we need to... Well, I just want to show you this because this is what Scribing should look like, basically. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to... Pull you guys up so I can watch. Noxious Breath and Violet? I, I don't know. But you can make Dawnbreaker purple. And uh, you can do other things too. Um, let's watch this. Hey, please don't copyright me. Hey everybody, I'm Kira. And I am so excited to give you an overview of the awesome new scribing system that is coming out in the new Gold Road chapter of the Elder Scrolls Online. Scribing is a new system that is really focused on role play and choice. So we've given them agency over their skills. We have 11 new skills that you can customize. These skills are called grimoires. Each of these grimoires can be customized in three ways. A focus script, which allows you to change the main function of the ability. A signature script, which gives you access to some very interesting, unique effects. Yes, Vigor was in blue and it was incredibly obnoxious. And an affix script, which has given you access to the major and minor buff system that you've come to know and love. But let's talk about how do you get access? Well, if you own Gold Road, when the chapter launches, you'll notice that there are a lot of new scribing quest givers outside the various mages' guilds. You'll see this gentleman, Adept Ernard, talk to Ernard, and that'll kick off the scribing questline. So we're here in the Scalarium, which is where you're going to spend a lot of your time on the scribing questline. You'll run up to the scribing altar and go ahead and use it. You'll notice immediately all of the different grimoires that you have unlocked. Here we have them all unlocked, so you'll see that there are six for the weapon skills, one for the fighter's guild, one for the mage's guild, and one for PvP. Today we're gonna take a look at Soul Burst because it's one of my favorites. 
So Soul Burst, you'll notice from its grimoire description, allows you to pull power from the very core of your being and unleash it in a circle around you, affecting either allies or enemies. So I've selected my grimoire and I come in and I can immediately see all of the scripts that are relevant for this grimoire and that I have unlocked. So there are quite a few focus scripts that I could choose, whether it's a damage type or a different sort of crowd control or maybe an ally focused ability. I'm tempted by this one, the pull script. It's one of my favorites. You'll notice that when I add it to the grimoire, it goes ahead and updates both my target type and the cost of the ability. Focus scripts define not only the main function of an ability, but also how much it'll cost and what resource that is. So once I have selected my focus script, and I'm happy with that, I can go and choose which signature script that I'd like. There are lots of options here, but it's really about what works for you. What do you have in your build that you like? Is there an ability that you're not crazy about that you might want to replace? Is there a strength you want to lean into? A weakness you want to shore up? The thing about these abilities is that they're so flexible. You can really choose the right way to customize it for you. So for this signature script, I don't really run a lot of healing in my build. So I'm pretty tempted to take healing over time. We'll see that that update. Oh, I realize also, I'm sorry. If I'm not talking, it's because I'm eating my dinner while watching this because this is the perfect time to eat. But... <clears throat> To avoid copyright, I must give input, I think. So, um, hi. Listen, um, I want to eat food, okay? I'm eating nuggets. Leave me alone. Dates and the tooltip. But then I think about it, and I'm like, you know, because I have chosen an enemy targeted focus script in my pull, this healing over time will only impact me. However, if I go back up to focus scripts and I maybe choose a healing focus, well then that healing over time signature script will impact both me and my allies in that circular area of effect. So there's some really interesting decisions that you can make. Do you want to have your build be a little bit more selfish? Do you want it to be more ally focused? And you can go from there. But you'll notice when I chose that healing focus, some of these signatures Listen, man, I Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets go unbelievably hard, right? And I'm savoring every bite. And that is my in, that is uh, my commentary on this current video. ...became unavailable. It doesn't mean that you can't still use them on this grimoire if you want. You just can't use them in conjunction with that particular focus. So we'll continue with building sort of our ally focused ability. And I really like Expedition. Get a little bit of a bonus movement speed in there. Again, because this is an AOE and this is ally focused, this buff will also impact my allies who are in range. So now it's the time to make the thing. You'll notice at the bottom of the screen that it shows that it costs three inks. Inks are things that you can find out in the world, and that is your crafting currency for scribing. Did I get the lemonade? Um, no. Um, I'm actually drinking water alongside this because, uh, well, you know, it's water. Um... The amount of ink charged is equal to the number of scripts that you've added to a given grimoire. Since I'm scribing this one for the first time, it'll cost three. If I was just changing out a single script, well, then it would only cost me one ink. And with that, we're going to go ahead and craft the script. Now let's show you that soul burst in action. You can see that burst heal, heal over time, minor expedition combo is great for supporting group content, whether you like dungeons or PVP. But let's look at a few other combinations too. This one is Soul Burst with a pull focus and the Arcanist Class Mastery Signature Script and Minor Breach. The Class Mastery Scripts are a special set of unique signature scripts that allow you to access mechanics and passives from your class. One more for the road. Here's Soul Burst with Shock Damage, Shock Damage Over Time, and Minor Intellect. 
No matter your weapon or your class, if you focus on damage, tanking, or support, there's something in scribing that can help your build be more effective, more streamlined, or just more fun. There are over 300 unique skill variations just for Soul Burst, and over 4,000 combinations of grimoires and scripts coming with scribing. So that's scribing. We're so excited to see what you all do with it. I can't wait. She's excited. She should be worried because once I get back on that PTS, boy, we're making the greatest smash ability of all time. It's literally called smash on the PTS. Like, seriously, look at this. I'm just control F mash. Uh, excuse me, smash. I just ate, um, like 10 nuggets. So, what? Yeah, we were playing with it, and then the server went down, and then I went on the live server, and then I had PTS stuff on the live server. So, yeah, we got that all recorded on stream, and it was insane. The only issue I have with these skills is the animation's cast times. They take so long. Do you actually play with it? Like, I know I saw Smash had like a 0 0.6 second cast time, but that's no different than something like Dizzy Swing. But it's like, you know, if I want to gank, I want an insta-cast too, right? You know, I want something that goes like that. Bah! You know? He's on EU. I could go onto the EU server. I just don't want to. You know? But I don't think we have any options if I'm going to play ESO. I don't even have to play ESO. I can play something else. I got other games. You know, I got stuff we can play. Um, but I really do need to work on a build video. Smash was the best one. Most of the other ones have a lot longer of a cast time. Hmm. Did anyone else get to play with the skills at all before the PTS just randomly went down and then they transferred everything over to the live server and then broke the game and all that? There it is. It's down. Paid. Uh, can we even... What? Access code? Hold on. Did I get my password wrong? Oh no, I gotta I gotta log in. Um D. Okay, well I gotta hide my screen, hold on. How do I Okay, yeah that works. Listen. Confidentiality is important, okay? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. We're getting on to the European server. Wait, what? Ah, hey, hey, look at him. He's short. I don't have Arcanist on here, do I? I don't have any race, any alliance either. You're a grease spot. Does have to be on yellow? That's cringe. I could be Arcanist! Oof. Okay, well, we... Then, uh, we make a warden. <clears throat> a wood elf warden. Wait, that's still yellow. Wait. Hold on. Okay. Ninja try to hack someone? Yeah, he is. Steal my information. All right, what are we making? What are we? Uh, what are we making? Fresh start EU server. Uh, let's see. I want to make an abomination, and I need it to be on red. 
Must be an Argonian. Now I know. Now I know it's an Argonian. Uh. But, listen. I'm gonna make the most beautiful Argonian you've ever seen in your entire life. Uh, yes. 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 Goodness gracious! Look at him! He's pregnant! <laughs> that sounds like a strong and powerful class. For a strong and powerful looking Argonian. Potentially. Potentially. Make him, like, super thin. Oh my goodness. Okay, he's kind of terrifying when he's really thin. Make small. Everything small. Min-maxed. Everything except the posterior because that's the only thing that's important. Yes. Yes. Look at him. I'm not making a necromancer on the EU server. You don't come to the EU server and then make a necromancer. Listen, you don't, you don't do that. Alright, fine. Big, small, Argodian man. That's fine. I was kidding. Listen, I know you're kidding, but I have to play it up, um, for the stream and all that. And, uh, yeah. Goodness gracious. Then, it looks, uh, more strange. Oh, wait, we can change the body color, too. Um, let's see. Can you be green? It needs to be green, because green is the color of slime. He's going to be a slime ball. You need to be green. Ah, yes, green. Hmm. Need some chunk? You need some chunk? Okay, we can give him some chunk. Um, well, you know, I want him to be thin, but, um, everything's maxed out. They say move him over here, so he's, like, middle, like this. Yeah, so he's, like, kind of thin. He looks like he's in his 40s. And, uh, yeah. Here you go. Is, is this good? Is this good? Find me little green Argodian man. Look at him. Like this. Which one sounds the strangest? <laughs> okay, that one is so overpowered. That's crazy. Hairstyle? One screams Argonian main. Yes. Age? Now he needs to be young. Yes. Yes, beautiful. You definitely got the Riz, that's right. <clears throat> I'm glad you approve, Mr. Mia. I'm glad you approve. Okay, let's, uh... Ooh. Okay. Oh, forehead? Okay, obviously big. <laughs> okay, uh, small. And then we do height. Okay, that makes them higher. Okay, we make them higher. Jaw size. Oh! I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that, uh, a double chin. He just grows there. I don't know. I want him to be, like, large and then small at the same time. And then we do chin, chin, big chin, no neck, uh, 
red eyes or yellow yellow is kind of creepy big eyes so you can see the yellow eyes then the angle is down so he looks angry all the time uh. separation look at him all the way down no squint it's illegal it's kind of cute maybe if you're his mom um but he let's see okay then we go there and then we go do uh, that and then no shape okay yes yes just like that and then do Then we do... Oh, yes. Give him the big sniffer. The biggest of sniffers. Nose length, make it bigger. All the nose. All the nose. Mouth height. Let's see. Higher mouth. <laughs> I like it when he's happy. Look at him. Then uh, mouth, lip fullness. Big lips. Big lips. Glorious. Let's see what he looks like as another race. Oh, goodness. Freak it, reset all the sliders to the middle. I don't know if it's gonna save now. The chattiest of lizards, that's right. If that's the case, if we were gonna make him like the chattiest of lizards, then he need to be muscular, and then he needs to have like all upper body and no lower body. So like he has no leg size at all. Nothing going on down here, but he's got, like, the most massive upper body you've ever seen of all time. Because it's, like, maximum Chad right there. Look at him. Actually, that kind of goes hard. That kind of goes hard. I'm not even going to lie. What happens when we make him small? No, I like, I like big Chad lizard. The, the lusty Argonian? This is not a lusty Argonian. Look at him. This man, he will steal your wallet. In the back alley. Alright. He he will find you. He will rob you of all your worldly possessions. And then he'll stab you in the face. Like. Look at him. Look at him. He's an amphibian. Look at him. Look at him. Look, just look at it. See it? Look at it. Look at him. It's lusty. Fine, then we'll just make everything big. Here. There you go. Is that good? There you go. Okay. Um, I think that's good. We'll call him... Grease Blade. Grease Blade. Look at Discord. What? Yeah, um, kind of figured this would happen. Well, you can't see it. Hold on. This. No response from the devs, but yeah. If you were farming during this period, I guess you're just out of luck, dude. Um. Alright, back to buff Argonian things. Let's, uh. Get back to it, I guess. He's blade. Oh, freak. We gotta do this again. You guys ready? We're gonna speed run the main quest. Oh my gosh, she sounds beautiful. 
<laughs> Perfect. It's everything I wanted. Let's turn accessibility mode on. Screw it. Uh, let's do narrate. Actually, this is the European server. If he narrates chat, I'm likely to get copyrighted or something. Um, never mind. Alright, let's go terrorize the European server, I guess. Um, fix all of our uh, settings. I still have ESO Plus on here. Is that a thing? Or do I have to buy it for the Europeans? Okay, good. Um, hey guys. Welcome. Uh, I can't buy anything yet. <laughs> Fresh start. Freak. Um, I have anything cool to wear? Yes. There we go. Alright, and then, uh, let's see. Anything else? Is it literally it? Right, okay, so you give me this weird outfit and that's it. Okay, it's kind of OP. It goes hard. I like it. Okay, um, let me finish setting up the rest of my settings here. Controls. Control, combat. Sprint. Missed it. Emra. Make the fix of this. Uh, no screen shake. No screen shake. Good. I love how it saves some of my settings from the live server on the NAs. I guess kind of OP. Um, left. Frame border on. Injured. Let's do always. Away. Always, always social off on Andy Phil. Go do 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 do. Okay, we're good. There you are. I was hoping they yeeted the server to V414 again. We are a lethal looking Argonian, bro. When you're ready, imagine, imagine encountering this in the back alley. You'd just be, uh, you'd be in trouble. Look at him. Bro, his arms are so big in first person. That's, bro, the buffest Argonian. Okay, well, obviously, we're going to play a Grease Blade, so, and, uh, the best Grease Blade I can think of is with a 2H. So, wait, this is a European server. First the bow. Bow. I got my things. Let's do this. Mash X. Equip an offhand item. What do you mean? This. Yes, I think that one suits you. Yes, if it does. You mind, feel free to take any other weapon you want. Now, I have ESO plus, so I might as well take advantage of. Ooh, I got a recipe. Look at that. That ranks. Oh right, right. That's a good idea. Let me show the ping. 130. It's crazy. East Coast ping boat to freed. This is as good a place as any. Now, prepare yourself. Well, I conjure up a dance partner. Let's begin. Quickly now. Well done. Attack. Impressive. Mm hmm. Hit brilliant. Now do it again. Right. Ready yourself. Quick, strike while it's off balance. Oh, oh, I'm supposed to. Yeah, okay. You're unnatural. Block it, strike. Strike hard now. Can I medium move? I can medium move. That. Okay. Wonderful. Protect yourself. Use your head. Now some foes will try to restrain you. Yes. Quickly, break. Ha! <laughs> You're unstoppable. And block it. Prepare yourself. You broke loose. You ready to break? You're every bit the warrior I thought you'd be. Wow, I me. I didn't have it showed before. Again. Now That's why I was wondering. With a heavy attack. Powerful strike. Yeah, I know. That's it. I'm actually surprised my ping's not a little higher. Maybe it's because I'm just in the starting zone. Again, hold this attack. Wear a purple shirt. I'm tank. What? Interrupting the attack will set them off. Oh, you want me to look like Good. the Hulk? Now destroy it. I do two damage on a bash. A I am a lethal Argonian. We're gonna build for magic. Build strike. Here we go. I don't have any friends on the European server. This is perfect. I don't need friends. We're gonna clear vet, uh, vet Vader Strand Hollows with this guy. Watch. One of the stray golems. Oh, it's teaching me to sneak. No. 
I need XP. Idiot. Ooh, he gave me an iron maul. Clearly much better. Oh, it's even defending. Look at that. Nerf this man. <coughs> I, uh, it appears I've been trapped. Pain. He's on the KOG workout program. Real. Almost there. Let's hurry. I, the, the beginning part is so easy. I literally can just strip down and be naked. And no one can stop me. Look at him. Um, jerky. Okay, we're gonna need oops. Take it all, cause I can't take all of it. Where's the face? I need the face. Alright. Yep. Have. Do we have. Listen, I need to level up my stuff. So I have medium, heavy, and I need light. So we'll put the light on the next. Or can we do. We don't have light, anything else. Okay, paint. Um. Armor values. Listen, why am I min maxing? I'm level two. Someone stop me. Freaking min maxing armor weights because it's level two. Freaking Reese. 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 All right, time to X. Here we go, boys. Oh my gosh, this is this is so bad. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I got a pocket healer, idiot. Get good. Wait, I need to bind this. Hold on. Controls, general. No, 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 no. Oh, but, but it should be in general, you bot. Where is it? Combat. Where is it? Targeting. Okay, here we go. Now. Now I can tap target with block. Yes, we have moved to the EU server because the NA server is down because Zinimax forgot to do something very important when they uh, did the PTS transfer thing. So now we're going to terrorize the EU server. Because we can. I love this guy already. He's one of my favorite characters. Yes. The Kirites gallery is in here. Let's head inside. Oh yes. Wait, we have to do it in first person because uh we have to. Um because we're the new player. We're the we're Zinamax's target audience and stuff, so we have to do this in first person, unfortunately, guys. Steal everything. Give 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 this will all be useful at some point. I'm sure. Yes. 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 Give me all of it. All of it. Okay. What? Well, there's a sash. Look at that. Give me. Yes. It does nothing. Yes. Uh, medium shoulders, light belt, light hand, medium legs. We have medium legs and we have heavy, heavy. One, two. Okay, we'll do a heavy head. Have it and then we're gonna need medium, so we'll stick to medium. Paid. Sorry, listen, I'm a nerd. Leave me alone. Alright, let me be a nerd in peace. As we wait for the uh, NA server to come back on. Oh, what? Bruh. Who has? Bruh. <laughs> Love this guy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Has higher damage numbers, I'm sure. Yes, it's level three. Does uh, like twenty more damage. Let's go. All right. 
Uh, no, I think they're just gonna roll the servers back and uh, fix whatever is going on on the PTS. Because, uh, yeah, it's a problem, the fact that I can transfer my PTS character over to the live and have literally everything unlocked. With no repercussions! Because they don't know how to code something. Very strange. There it is, the sky shot. I have to fight a gargoyle? That's crazy. 50k HP. Bye. PvE is difficult, by the way. I don't know if you knew that. What? Did you just absorb the energy? Yes. Quiet. Yes. I did. Incredible. Leave me alone. Not quite what I intended, but we can work with this. We're going into PvP as soon as possible. You guys do know this. Second we hit level 10, we're going straight into Cyrodiil. I'm taking a resource. I'm going to get my first X. Just because we can. Lily gonna go into Cyrodiil. We're gonna fight five bots. We're gonna win because, uh, well, we are. So, should have actually played PVE before Tamriel won. It was actually somewhat difficult. Oh, I know it was a lot more difficult back then, but now everything's super easy because all the tooltips are fat and large for absolutely no reason. And I don't know why they gotta keep buffing everything, and then they gotta nerf everything, and then they gotta buff it again, and they gotta nerf it. Like, listen, listen. Listen. There it is. Send it back to oblivion. We're gonna go far and tarnish nightmare as well. At level ten, if we can, we're gonna we're gonna solo the dungeon actually. To get tarnish nightmare pieces, and we're gonna wear it on the body. And then um, we're gonna go buy red mountain out of the vendor. And we're gonna wear tarnished nightmare and red mountain, and we're not getting any monster sets, so we'll have to find some other stuff. Zoss is content. Content. Get all the bookshelves. Knowledge. Give me all the knowledge. Give me all the knowledge. By all the stars. Look at the oh, so cool. I had no idea it was I'm an Argonian with a like massive this. brain. Let's get a closer look. These are not giving me any skill points. Or any like levels to my skills. Just teaching me lore books. These better go towards my Mage's Guild. I better be stacking fat amounts of Mage's Guild right now. Oh, I read it. Okay, there it goes. Alright, guys. Um, I'm I'm going to be transferring my content to do strictly PvE from now on. Um, we're going to be doing strictly PvE content, guys. Um, because... This is... Yes. This is the key right salary. Because, yes. Now I Wait, why are these why locked off? Managed to unlock the gates. Their power comes from this arcane helix. Amazing. With the helix exposed, these gates can finally reopen. Perhaps not all of them at first, but enough to reach most of Tamriel. The question for you, I suppose, is where to first? <laughs> bro, there's other people the in here, bro. So, have you Alright, so, uh, apparently I'm locked off from all those other little grease balls, and there's literally only one option for me, which appears to be Bleak Rock Isle, so we're gonna go to Bleak Rock because we don't have any other choices. It's a oh boy, the only cutscene in ESO. To your will and call forth the chains of cold They're performing a ritual, preparing the way for a dark anchor. Open risk to oblivion. Leaving the players, not very content. Bleh. Apparently if you delete a character on a PTS, it deletes one on the live server. Well, I'm glad I didn't do that. So, I never do that anyways. I always just go and buy character slots and make a new character and all that. What? I don't have enough room in my inventory! What? Oh, okay. <coughs> Alright. Yes. We've done it, boys. We have this. And now... Critical charge. That's right. We do... This. Didn't they give me, like, this, the coffer with all the stuff in it? Yes. Um... 
Okay, so they just give me pants. I need to deconstruct some stuff. I'm just going to ignore this idiot and go read the bookshelves because... And, and I also need to get to Aradon first. So I can start leveling. So I can hit level 10 and go right into Cyrodiil and die. Alright, we're speedrunning our death in Cyrodiil. Alright, let's go. Alright, can someone put like a timer up somewhere? Um... Wait, I know how to do... Hold on. Alright, let's uh... Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna go here. We're gonna do stop... Or clock. Clock. I think I can put this as an overlay on the uh, OBS, and it should still play. Um, let's see. Add window capture. That. No. Ant, you're a bot. Well, then, uh, you're a bot. Ant. Game? Restart. I need to... Calculator. Bruh. It should work. I don't know why it's not working. Sign in. I don't want to sign into my stupid app. Let me load. Um, let's see. Can I just, why can't I just drag this into the elements? So dumb. Hold on, I'm sorry. I'm trying to... Put a clock on screen so we can time ourselves going into Cyrodo and dying. Uh... For some reason, it'll, it'll capture a calculator. I don't know why. So strange. But it won't capture the clock. Alright, let me try something else. Window. Launcher. No, I don't want a launcher. Close. Remove. Um. Video capture device. OBS camera. Listen. Let me. You know what? You're just gonna have to trust me, okay? Here's the clock, alright? Here you go. Look at it. Alright, you see this? That is a clock. Okay, I press the start when we start moving, and I'll pull it up once we die in Cyrodo, okay? Alright, listen. Alright, listen. Okay? Here we go. Oh, oh, the timer started. Let's go. Oh. Alright. We gotta die in Cyrodo. From a fresh start. Bob. We gotta... Oh. Listen. I don't even have chat pulled up. Hold on. Let me pull you guys back up. Alright, there we go. Chat is pulled up. We're on the clock, boys. That game I saw on stream recently. Which one? EVE Nightbleeds. You look concerned. We cannot pick up the Blessed Thristle, unfortunately. Uh, as we must make our way straight to... Screw it! Infinite Archive! Let's go! Sorry. We're, we're just gonna grind Infinite Archive until we hit level 10. There's a PvE bot. Alright, here we go. Alright, come on, boys. This is it. I can't believe it. Here we go. Yeah! Yeah! 
I'm battle leveled, boys. Dangerous. Freak, I have no damage. One VX the archive. This will also give me some good gear if I can uh, do well in it. I need a heal. Need a heal. Ow. Ugh. Ah. 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 Bro. Ah. That's right. That's right. Humans aren't supposed to be lizard women. Listen, this is the other scrolls online. I can do whatever I want. Like X in the archive. This is taking way too long. I have no damage. Yeah, dungeon damage dealer. Look at that. Be impressed. I, I'm putting on surprise attack and not veiled strike or concealed weapon because I literally cannot sustain not having any other abilities to do anything with. All right, and I gotta use that to heal. I gotta use this. For oh my gosh. I can't die. I can't die. I've come too far to die. Freak. No! Why are you summoning spiders? No! Put it back! Put it back in the portal, you idiot! Which one summoned it? Is it the big one? Freaking. Eh. So this is why PvE is difficult for some people. It's because uh, they go in without any sort of build at all. And they just think that they're going to be successful because Skyrim. No, no. You don't have a build, so you don't have any stats to work with, and this is why things are difficult for you. I'm putting on Dizzy Swing, so I have a spam move. Quiet. Now that stage one complete, level four, both of these suck. Um, did I get anything useful? No. I, I gotta suffer a little bit longer pain. Well, you have to pick the right kind of things, uh, depending on what you're going to do. But I'm going to be doing a lot of heavy attacks, because I'm an Argonian. And it just makes sense. Right. I love this guy so much. Literal legend. A literal legend. Argonian 1VX EU. This is probably going to take a couple hours to get to level 10. Oh my gosh. It'd be so much easier to go do anchors because I'd also get Jubilee event boxes. And uh, there'd be people there to uh, go do the stuff with. So after I complete uh, the first arc of this and I get like one piece of gear that I can use... Hopefully, it's uh, not a weapon, that's a staff. And it's actually like a, a two-handed weapon that I can use to hit people with. I have 150 ping right now on the EU server. Frick, no, no, I've come too far. No. <laughs> oh, look, I get the I get the increased max magic. Oh freak. That's gonna hurt. I need a heal, I need a heal. Oh. Ah, 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 ah. The auto scrolls online is really difficult, guys. Oh it's only difficult when you're literally level four and you're trying to fight a bone colossus. Come here. No. Alright, just spam crit rush. Spam it. Spam it. I found my strategy for meta DPS. Hold on. It's called spam crit rush because it's the only stam ability I have. I'm doing it in fir first person too because it's OP. Alright. Yes! Fire orb will carry us! Um, let's see. Literally nothing else. Okay. 
This fire orb will like speed run um this. That's right. I just gotta fight a bigger bone g g freaking grease. Listen, where's my fire orb? Yes! Carry me! Carry me! Carry, carry, free. carry me! Carry me! Carry me! Bro's gonna run off the edge. Listen, move back this way so my fire orb can hit you, you idiot. Come on. Come on. This would literally be the one ad that has like a vertical run attack that just pulls him to the other side of the arena. Making my life very difficult to use fire orb. But fire orb is carrying me right now, boys! Get rolled, idiot. No, why that way? Why that way? Come here! Bro. You're an idiot. Bot, idiot, bot, freaking bot, idiot. Here we go. Nailed it. Nailed it. Alright, let's see what we get. Gloam Graced Helm, I'll take it. I'll take it. He's offering you visions. Hold on. Last longer than verses. Giving me things. Oh. Seriously. I couldn't drop the whole thing. Oh, if this malligraphy had a piece, the others might too. Keep going. Here we go. Nailed it. Alright, Gloom Grace helmet. We actually have some drift now, but I do like to look at my character's face. But uh, you know, okay. Depending on what we get here. Alright, we're leaving. We're we're gonna go uh, get all of our other things out of the way. Because uh, this is going to take far too long without uh, any sort of proper buildage at all. I wonder where this will put me. Right, we need to go by mount speed. We need to... Uh, uh, listen. I don't even have Ardon unlocked. Whose bot grease is this? I don't even have Kanarthi's roost. What? I don't even have Davon's watch unlocked. Whose man's is this? Where's the boat swan? Where is it? Get me off. I'm not completing Bleak Rock Isle so I can go to the freaking. Let me out. the infinite archive listen why can i go to the infinite archive but i can't go anywhere else like bruh how does this lizard have access to apocrypha fresh out of spawn like bruh who's this man what, go what government secrets does he possess oh here we go here's the thing any idea how long the na server will be down for i have just as much information as you do when it comes to that i don't know Wait, I need to research. We need to start researching, boys. Yes. Wait. Iron girdle. Yes. How long for real? I don't know. Um, server rollbacks might take about three hours to do. Um, and then you have them reestablishing the servers after rolling them back. So maybe four hours, four to five hours. Um, meaning it'll probably be back up uh, right by midnight, unfortunately. If I had to take a guess, or you know, they could have like a. Pretty good team, and then they could get it done real, real quick, and then it would be no more less than like maybe two hours. In about two hours, the servers might be back. But we're definitely gonna get compensated for our lack of ability to uh, sweat in this game. 
because uh, the servers had to go down because uh, the game broke. Okay, um, listen, where is the boat, idiot? This one? Do you take me to the thing? I. Evans, watch. Let me go. Zoss caused this issue. They did. They definitely did. Look at this guy. Look at him. 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 Bop. Bop. Sorry. Wait, I already have this way shrine unlocked. Okay, we're going right to, to the next boat swan. Um, actually, I'm gonna go grab Undaunted real quick. We're here. He's not here. What He's, in the name okay. of Vivek do you put in this stuff? Knows no fear of oh, we can also do like the uh, the uh, the uh, the thing. Uh, where is it? Uh, the thing. Uh, this thing. It's literally right here, down by the docks. Epic PvE battles would be cool. New channel name. That's right. We're gonna rebrand and everything. Epic Epic PvE no battles. Blah 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 blah. Uh, throw. Yeah, that's right. I get pie at me. I hate pie. Get pie at me. Completed fleeing of pies. Do I taste core apple? Core apple gives me high of a set. Yes. Alright, let me do... New epic... What? Bring the farm? What? We get better soundtracks for trials? Honestly, that is... That is a big thing, like... Trials should have their own little soundtrack with them for like when you're in the last boss fight and imagine like the cool orchestras that they could do that'd be kind of OP Sugar and flour 12 eggs Whisk three times no more no less just like father out of the oven and Perfect all it needed was to fling some pies and meet you my friend I'm inside the cake and this is some free XP as well. Can I loot these and get things? Hold on, move. Give me pumpkin. Flower. Heck. This. Uh. Bro! Bro! I can take so many. I can't, I can't take that many. I leveled up. The, that's the important part. You gotta love this character. He's OP. Um, let's see. We need this. Actually, now that we have that, we just need to have this slotted to level it. We'll do surprise attack because we can do sundered. And that's more damage for us at no level. We need a taxi? I'm fine, bro. I know how to do everything. Hold on. Since we're over here by the docks, which is where we're supposed to run to, we gotta go to solitude. Which I already have marked. So we're going to go to Ardon first. And then we're going to go to Solitude. Because uh, we can. Alright. So you will take me to Somerset. I'm yep. Soon be uh, you. Will you permit me cross alliance travel? Ardon. Boom. Just like that. Hey. Listen. I, I know where I'm going. I know how to get to where I want to go. Okay. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. This is where we want to be. For many reasons. First, we gotta go to Solitude to get the scrying so skill line. Visitors, so little time. We're just a little slow. That's all. We're just a little slow. That's all. Oh, I need to eat the cake too so I can get the uh, the tickets. Break my cake has in is embedded itself in the way shrine. There we go. So we go here because we can get scry we can get our scrying done, and then we can go and get our fighters guild and mages guild here at the same time. And there's a bunch of lore books we can pick up as well, um, just by reading bookshelves. 
so that helps us. And then, um, listen, you'll you'll figure it out. Okay, just watch. Listen, I I don't like how slow I am, but you know, Argonian things. It is what it is. It is what it is. Man, I was really looking forward to testing the gold road and all that stuff on the PTS today. I wanted to make so many fun little spells and cast so many shadow spells and murder people and things, but then uh, Zenimax has to have a big ouchie on the servers, and then everything has to break, and then nothing works, and then we're just here alone, by ourselves, alone. All sad, because Zenimax doesn't know how to make servers work. So we'll just hang out together and hopefully they can fix them in time and we can test them before I gotta get off tonight. Just turn the ground into water and I'll walk faster. This is facts. But wait, I don't have the passive unlocked yet, so it won't actually work. What's this? Unlucky people from the forum have spent 16 and a half hours, cleared 41 geysers, and finally got staff. You read that now, Garm? So Excellent. They're going to have to roll back the servers. Otherwise, the economy is going to be busted and so many other problems are going to arise. And they're going to have to put the uh, they're going to have to put the styles into the uh, event merchant. Because of the people that had all that time to farm stuff. And honestly, they just shouldn't have had a hiccup like this. But they did. And it's very unfortunate. Good idea. Well now fix your eyes on the I really can't see anything else that they could do to make it up to us other than also now give us crown crates for free. Looks like this They'll probably also have to do because Remember just giving us our time back won't be enough at that point. Because imagine you get home after working all day, like you work your 10 hour shift or whatever. You come home and you're like, okay, I just want to relax, play some ESO and goof off and whatever. And then you come home and the server's down and uh, it's because the PTS had a bad test. You'll get nothing! If we get nothing, bro, that's not going to look good for Zenimax. They'll have to give us something. They will. You will, we will get nothing or pay our subs in like it X. They'll, they'll give us something. It might be very small though. Oh, we, we apologize for the mild inconvenience. Let's extend the event for two days. Listen, what is extending the event going to do? Fascinating. This is, this is funny because, uh... This is also the big 10-year anniversary thing for Zenimax as well. Like, uh, you know... Oh, wait, we should probably go inside and read the books. Hold on. This is the big 10-year anniversary thing for Zenimax as well, and the fact that the servers just... kind of merged. The live and the PTS server just merged together. It's kind of... kind of goofy. Because uh, when this game first launched, it had a lot of problems too. I mean, it wouldn't be a 10-year celebration without any problems, would it? Oh, that's a... Okay, no. Grease, grease, grease. Right. The Scholar of the Circle, boys. Let's go. Let's go upstairs. Got more books up here. Books. The books. More books. I need more books. I need more books. Ow. My ear really itches. You still buy crowns and they know it. Ha ha ha. That is true also. Like, imagine all the people that bought crowns during the time that the, uh, 
the server done went goofed. Well, actually, it'd be fine because you still have your crowns on here. Um, so I have 20,000 crowns. Pain. I think they gave me back. They definitely gave me like a thousand crowns for just coming over here to the EU server. So I have a thousand crowns I'm willing to spend. But I'm not going to! No one saw this coming. Yep. I just didn't expect it to flop like it did. Um, okay, so we have this. We go back to Argon. QQ is just as delicious. Listen, we must go look. I must go view the forums real quick. See if there's any updates. Can we buy? Can we buy mount speed? Yes, we can buy mount speed. Do I have endeavors on here? I have no endeavors. Hey. I wanted to see if I could buy some uh, books. Go a little faster. What did you miss? Um, goodness gracious, Kirk, what did you miss? Holy moly. Um,. You're going to have to go back and watch the stream, but in short, Zenimax transferred the PTS over to the live server, meaning I had infinite currency, I had everything collected, and all I did was log on to the PTS, get kicked out, and go back to the live server, and I had everything unlocked. I was CP 3600, I had every single die, I had every single achievement, I had everything. And, uh, yeah, that's a problem, because I shouldn't have any of that. And now the NA server is down, and the server that is currently up is the European server. So that's why we made this goofy looking fella, so that way we could play on the EU server. And have something to do in the meantime. Even though I should probably be working on a video right now. Um, I kind of turned my brain off of uh, video making mode. And it's probably not going to want to turn back on to video making mode. So uh, that build video is going to be, you know, extended by a little bit. I hope you didn't hand out gold or anything. No, I didn't. I didn't, uh, I didn't give out any gold or anything. People were selling stuff on the trader, bro. I, I'd be so funny, but I'm, I'm not going to risk getting banned or anything like that because uh, Zenimax made a big oopsie on their part and they can't fix the servers or whatever. But yeah, that kind of cash flow into the economy is going to break it for a couple months. They gotta roll back the servers, and, uh, some people that have been grinding for a while, if the servers get rolled back, that's gonna be a problem for them. Because they spent so much time grinding these motifs, and then, well, the server goes offline, and now they're rolling it back, and if they roll it back, they lose the stuff that they grinded for. So, you know, to make up for that lost time, Zenimax will have to do a couple of things. Um, the easiest thing is literally to pay us in money. By that, it would probably be, like, a 15 crown crate pack for free or something. Um, especially during the event, where you have people running around and going through stuff like Black Rose to level characters. You have people grinding the geysers for the staff style, anchors for the, uh, Mana Marco staff, and doing a bunch of fishing. Knocking out fishing achievements, and getting that done. Like... When they roll back the servers, so many people are going to lose so much progress. Because it really depends on how far the servers have been backed up to. But if Zenimax does things the way that they should, they should be backed up about every two days. So, you know, two days is, uh... Well, it's about as good as it's going to get. 
Hopefully the server is back later. No, Kirk, we gotta start over on the EU server, bro. It's time. We rise up on the EU server. We gotta X the EU server. Look at me, I'm an Argonian! Look at me! I'm picking it. Every time my RNG seems bad, I buy crates and boom, I'm lucky again. Literally, bro. What they should do, what Zinimax should do, um, as payment for this, is they should have a new event. They should make a new event in this game where they increase your RNG five times. Like, so they give you a multiplier of five to your RNG. So if you're farming for stuff, all of a sudden, you're incredibly lucky and you're very likely to get the things you're farming for. So, like, leads drop five times as often, um, special resource nodes and stuff, um, drop five times as often. But some of the RNG in this game is really, really bad. So, it, it, more, three would probably be more balanced, but daggum, at this point, five, come on. But, of course, this wouldn't apply to, yes, it would apply to crown crates, it'd have to. Imagine getting Master Angler and then having lost eight hours of fishing. Literally. You can flex on the noobs. The noobs don't care and they don't know what to appreciate because they're new. They're like, oh, you have something that looks cool. Okay, I don't really care. Bye. Queue up the form post, boys. What are you call? Is this a call to action to go and post on the forums? Because I don't have a forums account. They won't give me one. I don't know why they won't give me a forums account for whatever reason. Um, I also don't know how to get a forums account, even though I've looked and I followed the steps on their website. Um, they're supposed to send me an email to uh, unlock my forums. They've never sent me an email to unlock my forums account, so um, they won't let me on the forums, unfortunately. Well, I'm completely dripless, apart from the fact I can wear full Argonian drip. Because I'm an Argonian. Look at him, he's glorious. Listen. Times change, okay? You like Kirk's Templar drip? I do too. Kirk is very drippy. He will always be the most drippy Templar of all time. Good. Cyril, they, they, they probably did. Fortunately for us, they probably did, but it does take time to migrate everything. I have 570 ping because EU server. This is why you need an e EU account. Okay, I might have 570 ping because my internet's bad. What is that? What is that? Why is that rumbling? You go away. My video settings? What do you mean, what's my video settings?
so nice just running through Aradon. The pace of a snail. I know exactly where I need to go and what I need to do. It's just gonna take a while. There's a massive frame drop while I was in first person. Or oh, excuse me. Probably my internet provider just throttling my internet because they felt like it. Argonian roll dodge. I don't even have enough stamp. Lover. Yeah, this is gonna be very interesting. I don't know. I I should if I was smart. Um, I'd wait to see if the servers come back. Well, that's what we're doing. We're waiting to see if the servers will come back on a little early so we can get back to testing. But I'm not sure if they are, so I'm not sure if I in stream and go finish my Nightblade build video or I do something else. But the big thing I wanted to knock out was the patch notes, and I really wanted to play with some spells today. Some new spells, but I didn't get the chance. I hope I don't lose the motifs I farmed them out yesterday and it took you eight hours. You're one of probably a thousand people that got the motifs like either today or yesterday. And if they roll back the servers, you lose them. But what they'll probably do, the smart thing to do would be to just, yeah, put them in the event merchants that you can buy with event tickets. Honestly, that's the most realistic thing they can do is... Put those in the event merchant so you can buy them with tickets. Probably what they'll end up doing. They'll extend the event a couple of days. They'll put those uh, motifs in the event merchant. And they'll probably give us something else as well. Or, you know, they'll just let us keep all of our PTS stuff that we transferred over to the live server. So that way we have everything collected. We have millions of gold in Talvar. And, uh, yeah. That would be very strange. It's just that I know this happened because they decided they wanted to try and do something different with the PTS this time around. And it's something they shouldn't have done. Normally what they do is they copy the servers two weeks... They copy the servers two weeks in advance of, uh, you know, when they're planning on releasing the PTS. Um, so that way, uh, they have that all set up and ready to go. But it looks like this time when they did the server transfer, they literally copied the live server as it was at the time of the live, like, at the time that the PTS went live. They literally just copied the live server immediately over from where it was because we were in our house, right? We were in our house and when we went to the pts we were still in our house with everything that we were doing that was really goofy and strange because we were testing other stuff so they did an active probably like i don't know they they transferred our stuff over live that makes sense and that was the problem that they had because they've never done that before and they wanted to do it and it failed and now they're gonna pay the price for it i guess I doubt they'll put the event merchant, and I seriously doubt they'll give anything. They don't have to. They can let the community be really, really upset. They can lose a lot of business, and, you know, that's completely on them. But normally, when these kind of things happen, we've seen it before, they, they give us something. More than extending the event a couple days, you know? I just think it's interesting. You got a house on the PTS and you show up on the live server? Yeah. You unlocked everything. If you unlocked it on the PTS, you unlocked it on the live server. Literally everything.
Yeah, well, that will go down significantly. Oh, man, I just want to test some new spells on the PTS and make some broken builds, you know. I make our broken builds same me too said I don't know man useful players are compulsive or they'd quit the first day here to start lagging well think about it like this garm there is no other game on the market that offers the things that ESO offers I don't even know if you got most of that because I was looking over my shoulder but there's no other game on the market that offers the things that ESO offers in terms of combat gameplay and freedom of the player um this game has a lot going for it like the game is everything you want out of an mmo the problem is you just have really complacent devs and really really bad servers but like everything else is awesome this game is great if it weren't for the bad performance on the server side of things like they have so many issues with their servers it's ridiculous um i think this game would literally be perfect if they could just get past all the problems they have with their servers oh also if they fix the monetization and how aggressive it is you know that would definitely boost sales overall but um yeah if if they did a couple of different things uh this game would easily be more popular but they are content with where they're at and what they want to do so nothing much is going to change unfortunately all right now we got all these mapped so well, listen yeah there haven't been really any good mmos like eso for a while I respect a lot of what the devs have been able to do with this game. I just don't like how they run the game. I disagree very much with how they run the game, how they choose to run it, um, and where they choose to put their resources. Like, that is the only thing I do not like, and I voice my opinions all the time on it. And if they think I'm just, you know, a player that's here to just, I don't know, bully the game or whatever, I don't know what they think. But they gotta understand, we complain all the time because it comes from a good place. We want the game to get better, and we just want them to listen, but we don't get any of that, so we continue to get upset day in and day out. And I just wish that they'd put so much more focus on performance and how the server performs versus, oh, Crown Store and uh, more quests and all that. I want some new PvP content too. I understand why they don't want to add it. It's just, you know, if you focused on adding better servers, you kept up with that more frequently, you probably wouldn't be complaining as much. Boss monetization is worse than a lot of other Asian MMOs I play. I've played some Asian MMOs, and no, I'd say there are some Asian MMOs that are way worse monetization-wise than Zenimax, but they're close. They are very competitive with how aggressive their monetization is. Very, very close. Bro, I got no stamp.
But yeah, that's my problem with ESO is they just don't give the servers the love that the servers definitely need. And it just feels like neglect. Their focus is elsewhere. You are unworthy to kiss my feet. Be gone with you. Just when I was creating a single target spammable range spell with shock damage, major breach, something more to target. Test and mag short the PTS went down. Yeah. I don't want to I was I was in the middle of figuring out how to do anything on the PTS. When uh, the server just went down. I was about to create the most broken, overpowered, 1vx god mode spell you've ever seen in your entire life. I'm not even joking. What did I get? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, did we get anything else? No? Okay. Well, I mean, it does more damage. Some, but Zoss takes it to new levels. Plus, no Asian MMO perma bans for using the wrong promotion. That is true. Zoss customer service is very sensitive. People are being banned over the stupidest things. I know everything's case by case basis, but some of them are just like, okay, but, but why? Really? Why? Yeah, we were there for that, Frank. Yeah, I was making grease. And, uh, I didn't delete any of my characters and stuff, fortunately. But, I did have, I cr like, I got on, I bought character spaces so I could have more characters. And I made a character called Grease Blade. Just like how I have here on the EU server, I have a Grease Blade now. But Anton got banned for responding to a salty player who reported him but said worst. I know of no other game that's yeah. Like I said, very sensitive. I don't know. I just think sometimes they have a lot of requests to process these things, and in order to get through them all, they kind of just speed run, you know, looking at people's, uh, you know, reports and all that, and they make really bad decisions because they're trying to get through them so fast. They don't actually take time to look at context and all that because they can't. They're going to process so much, but... Listen, weird game. I guess the heal goes away when they die. The soulless one thinks I can be defeated. Weird Not culture. So. Weird culture, yeah. The skins of 
And this guy is role playing so hard in chat. Oh my gosh. All oh, right, I have all these uh, collector's edition stuff. Cause uh, I got the collector's edition things. Um. I saw dwarven spider mount. Hold on, let me go look. Yeah. I think the character name bands are the strangest cases. Here's we have the most heavy armor on. Let's see. Means elegance, some weapon and spell damage for us. Some other pieces. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yes. I'm Xing! I'm Xing! Look at me, I'm Xing! Can I get a better weapon? Look at this. What is this grease? Iron Maul of Shock, thank you. Now I'm OP, Unkillable God Mode 1VX. Literally. You're vibing with my Argonian right now? Hmm. Interesting. This Argonian is probably the most powerful Argonian in the face of Tamriel. You better watch out. He's coming. He's gonna destroy the EU server. Frick, too slow, bro. Oh, bro, if I, I, sh uh, bro, I want to put on concealed weapon, but I don't have any way to sustain it. Not until he's siphoning, and that's like, well, we just started a new character, so like that's not gonna happen. But that that minor expedition will be very nice. It's just a uh, pain. Is the PTS still down? Does anyone have any updates on that? Because I want to make spells and one-shot people. <sighs> They're going to be working around the clock for this. Are we level 10 yet? No. Level 8. Once we hit level 10, we're going into Cyrodiil and we're executing. I just checked. Uh, the servers are still down. Okay. Someone else in chat is like, they say how long the NA server is going to be down for. The world may never know. Check Discord. Hold on. I want to make sure I hit the boss at least once. I want to get my crate and stuff. It's important. Even though I'm not coming back to the EU server unless I absolutely have to. You know. I, I, you know, I want to make sure I get the hits in and stuff. Check. Okay, at 7.20. Ah. Mean. Mean. 
Bam. I have drip. I got a sash. Watch out. The broken soul. Stepping up in the world. Veiled inheritance pain. <laughs> Listen, it takes a while to level up to level 10, okay? Listen. I don't make the rules. Alright. But we will be Xing here shortly. We'll be PvPing in a minute. Just we must wait. Let's get to a point where I can PvP. We're gonna X very hard. Can I Q into BGs yet? Oh, I got a level 10 for that too. Okay, pain. Friggin' gatekeep at level 10. Honestly, I'm gonna miss this anchor. I spent so much time. Top one. Yeah. Not even worth running over there. Wasting my time trying to run over there and stuff. We're almost there. We're like nine and a half. Just good. You know, it's progress. We're gonna X. X game. Yo, anyone on the EU server got a vamp bite? Need to become a vampire or go to you. Server is back up? No, it's not. Unfortunately. I'm on the EU server, if that's why you're wondering why I'm playing the game. But, no, the server is not back up. I just went to the EU server because uh, I want to X and stuff. Did we lose anything? We don't know yet. We don't have enough information. Tina said it's gonna take longer. Unacceptable. Imagine not being able to play during prime time because the servers have to go offline. I was kind of ready to spend like uh, 10 hours streaming. Just PTS things. But uh... Yeah, um, two Zircon plating. I'm literally an Argonian with nothing to my name, and I have two Zircon plating. I'm gonna nerf this man. Are we level 10 yet? Oh, we're, like, right there at level 10. We'll go, we're about to hit some Cyrodiil, boys. Level 10 PvP Cyrodiil. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm actually gonna do a BG first, and then we'll go into Cyrodiil, because, um... BG was give me some XP as well. Listen. Fallout? I don't even have Fallout on here. Talking about Fallout 76, I don't have that. Not on PC. I have it on console, but not on PC. Very sad, I know. Listen.
Well, we've hit level 10, boys. Let's go. Mm, soon enough, we'll unlock bar swap and then we'll be real dangerous. Which Prime just gave it to you? If you're not going to use it, I'll take it. I don't even know how to redeem it, though. I'm going to be honest. If it's for, like, Steam, maybe. Unless you already have Fallout 76. But otherwise, I don't want to be taken from you. That's an elegant ring. Elegant, elegant. Level 9. Beast's weapon and spell damage. We're like trying to min max our gear here, real quick. Hold on, boys. Oh, well fitted? Heck yeah. Take that. Let's go. Let's go. Ugh. But this is sturdy. But. But this gives me more health. Yes. Alright. Alright, boys. Time to PvP. Time to X. But before we do that, I need to get one skill to carry me to success. There we go. Okay, we're good. Alright, we're now immortal. Let's go. 8k heal. I'm a straight, I'm a straight bot. Straight out of botville. And I get an 8k heal off of healthy offering. Unmorphed. Um, balance skill. Totally not busted in any way. I'm about to X the whole server. And yeah, like, subscribe for more Xing the whole server. And let's go get the quest from the Battlemaster. You up? Then we go X. We go X, everybody. Alright, then we're gonna go get Red Mountain. We'll figure out how to do that. I know how to do that. I just need a lot of AP. Alright, let's do this. Wait. There we go. I don't know why this is still here. It's not mid-year anymore, but this is still here. Like, they forget to take this out of the game. I don't know, but it's there now. Hi, right, boys! Alright, we're going back to Infinite Archive, because uh, we can actually get gear from that. We might be able to kill stuff now, too. I'm not sure, but we might be a little bit closer to being able to kill stuff. I do need to find a merchant, though. And I would like to move faster. Says it's for the Microsoft Store. I have the game on Steam. I am not downloading it off of the Microsoft Store. That is just asking for them to put stuff on your computer. That you don't want. Like, freaking... I don't know. You can keep it. If it was on Steam, I'd take it. But it's not on Steam. And uh, Microsoft Store is weird. I know it's a free game and stuff, but this... That just shows you I don't trust Microsoft. Yes. Apprentice Deconstructor. Let's go, boys. It's picking up. It's picking up. All right, we're just going to sell the rest because I'm lazy. Rusty Sweet Roll. Wait, I just sold all my soul gems. I need those. Um. Right. Okay. I I Captain. Yes. <laughs> Jewelry crafter, let's go, boys. Moving up in the world.
I love the noise my character makes. Like, at any given point, he's just... <laughs> he's great pain in the axe this is not the real pain in the axe that's illegal this man is level 26 there's no way forbidden all right back to infinite archive how are you playing? I thought the whole server in the PTS. Yeah, um, we went to the NA server. I mean, the EU server, I mean. We're on the EU server currently because uh, all the other servers are down. So we're just going to X on the Infinite Archive and stuff. I'm Xing. I'm Xing. I'm Xing. I'm Xing. Oh yeah, we're clearing this a lot faster now, aren't we? Oh, these guys don't stand a chance now. Hooray! Ow. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right! Get next, idiot! Watch me get all the leads for the torque on the EU server, like, back-to-back -back when I open the chest here. Oh yeah, we're wiping them out now, boys. We're a formidable. We are a formidable opponent. To be sure. You stam. That's right. That's right. Know your place. Know your place, idiot. Yeah, that's right. Get good. Get good. Uh, pustulant globs. I have two leads in 70 hours. Watch me. Watch. Just watch. Watch. Watch the magic happen. Going solo! Let's go, boys! Let's go. Ask me. Ask me. Come here. You won't survive. I'm a vicious little Argonian man. I'm dangerous. Ooh, hush you like glob. <laughs> Get globbed, idiot. Hold on. Give me a glob. I need a glob. <laughs> Double kill. Freak. Ain't got no stain either. No. You get... No. I I just need one pustulant glob. I just need a single globule. That's all. Just one globule. Alright, here we go. Alright, multi-kill right here, boys. Easy. Easy. Infinite archive. Easy, bro. Oh, we got a BG. Hold on. Let's go. Now is going to be the perfect time to submit a ticket to Zoss and say you got the leads today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they'll give you the leads. Perfect genius. 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 Honestly, I'm the scariest one here. I'm gonna be honest. I gotta be the most mortifying individual on on the uh, in the in the match. Let's see. I have potions. All right. Let me pop one of these. There we go. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. I'm going for the middle one. I'm going for the middle one. That's right! I'm a risk taker! Oh freak, they're coming. Oh my gosh. It's time! It's time! Ah! Oh freak! Oh freak, I'm getting zerged! 
Oh, frick! No! 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 This is so sad. Oh, that guy's clearly using hacks or something. I don't know. He hit me, like, real hard with, like, rapid strikes. I don't know. He's, like, hacking. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. I gotta kill. Be good. I'm coming in. I'm gonna get all the kills. Okay, I time to run. Come here. Come here. Come here. Quit getting healed. Quit getting healed. Die. Die. Stop healing him. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Let me kill him! Hold on! No! 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 Let me get him! Come here! Come here, you bot! Sit still! Sit still! Sit still! You make this way harder than it needs to be! Come here! Come here! Stop! 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 Oh my gosh. Clearly hacking. Clearly hacking, bro. Guy's clearly hacking. Look at him. Clearly hacking. Freaking Peter Pan over here. Freaking clearly hacking. Is everyone in this match a Nightblade? Okay, the majority of us in this lobby are a Nightblade. The most popular class in the Elder Scrolls Online. Now, this guy's clearly hacking too. Look at him. Look at the way he's moving. Literally using aimbot. Crazy. I was robbed. Wow. These guys are there. Look at him. They're using aimbot. Look at this guy. He's using aimbot. Look at him hacking. Look at him. Clearly hacking. Look at him. This guy's clearly hacking. Look at him. He's, they're all hacking. Look at him. Look at how much ha they're hacking. Oh my gosh. They're all hacking. Freaking hacking. Freaking Bruce hacking. Bruce hacking. <laughs> Wrong, clearly hacking, look at him. Clearly hacking. I'm big old hackers. SMH. Biggest hackers of all time, honestly. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Low level BG is just different. <laughs> oh my gosh. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! He's axing! He's axing! He's axing! Freak. Ah! 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 Uh. No. No. Bro, freaking no, 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 no. Get him, get him. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. I'm so good at the game. Yeah, come here, come here. Have no stamp. Come here. Yes, the this guy lived for way too long. That's right. I got double kill. Get good. All of you. Trash cans. Come here. Go free. Yeah. Get next. I'm Xing. I'm Xing. Yeah. Level 49 Argonian. Clearly a hacker. 
No way you could be level 49. This game just came out yesterday. Oh my... What? Did that man's mouth just move while he was talking? What? Freaking Peter Pan, boys. It's that grease ball from earlier? Come here! That's right! That's right! Oh, freak! He's flailing on me, bro! Get him off! 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 That man with his two little swords hurts, bro. Boys, it's time for a break. I'm not finished yet. I'm just getting started. No, I have no stamp. This is not fair. This is not fair. His ability costs nothing. Listen. 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 Come here. Freaking, I, bro, listen. Listen. I'm Xing! I'm Xing! I'm Xing! Oh, freak! Oh, freak! Oh, we're not even. We, bro, we need to. I need to get second place. I need to stop being such a stupid freak. Oh, my gosh. It's a pro gamer. <laughs> Jeez, just something else. <laughs> oh, we're not even gonna get second place. I'm just being an idiot. I need to capture flags. Oh, freak. I'm having too much fun. Wait, why do I have two chats? I have one chat on the left and one on the right. What is this, what is this UI? Who made this? Now we need this middle flag. Hopefully I'm not interrupted or I'm gonna have to get... I'm gonna have to get very, very dirty. Need this flag. We're not even gonna get second place. There's no shot. I don't think we can do it. Freak. I need it! I need the flag! No, I need the flag! I'm gonna have to run another BG. Yes, I know I can bash the beam, but I'm being an idiot because it's fun. I'm very, 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 very aware I can bash the beam. But I'm just having fun. So. Ah, daggerman, I gotta do another BG. Clearly a group BG. All those guys were hackers. 100%. All of them were hacking. I can tell. <laughs> I can get ults now. That's okay. Oh, it's deathmatch. Great. Hopefully we don't have any smurfs to deal with. Alright, let me get a, uh, let me get one of these. Yeah. Some more passives. <laughs> Current bonus zero. Am I in all heavy armor? I have three heavy and the rest is medium. Okay, that's fine. Argodian. Yes. In person damage. OP. Uh, my Argonian brain is processing. Every BG mode is deathmatch. Everyone in this BG is a hacker. Every single one of these guys is a hacker. Every single one of them is a hacker, and they all need to be reported and banned. Alright. Every single one of them is a hacker. Watch, watch. This guy, he's hacking. Look at him, he's hacking. I can just tell he's hacking. I can just feel it. Guy's hacking. Look at him. He's hacking too. Look at this guy. He's hacking as well. And this one's hacking. Come here. Come here, you hacker. Come here. 
มาระบบระบบไอเดียไอ้ actually have damage now because I put on major berserk that's crazy <laughs> This guy is stealing all of my kills. Ban him from the BG right now. Yes. Get the mage! Wait, I'm sorry, he's a hacker. Hold on. This guy's a hacker too. Hold on. He's hacking. He's hacking. This guy's hacking his man, hold on. Gosh, this guy's clearly a hacker. Guy right here, he's clearly a hacker. Look at him. Clearly a hacker. Hackerman.jpg. Yep, that's right. They're all hackers. Look at him. Every single one of them. Background programs and macros and all of it. Look at him. All hacking. Every single one of them is a hacker. Look at him. Game on them. Use it ultimate ability five times. Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's right. My boy, where you running to, boy? Look at him running for his life. Come here. Listen, Garm, stop being Delphio's game. It's weird. At least we're winning. We just need to win this one and we'll be fine. Come here! Oh, you! Freaking hacking, freaking greasing, and hacking and greasing. The most vicious little Argonian to ever exist on the face of the planet.
No. No, never. Never. Never in my life. Come I must escape. I must escape. Let me over. Yes. Keep good. That's my chance. That's my chance. That's my chance. Got him. is hitting me through the wall with snipes. Unfair. Hacking. Clearly hacking. Got aimbot, wall hacks, all of them. Going off. That's more damage than my 2000 CP sorcerer. Yeah, that's right. I'm the most powerful Argonian in the uh, Elder Scrolls universe right now. Most powerful Argonian. Hear my name. You will shudder. Grease Blade. That's what they call me. That's right. Terrorizing the local EU population. One X at a time. Come here. Oh my gosh. Oh. They're all greasing on me, bro. Look at them. X. I'm Xing! I'm Xing! Yeah, that's right! Yeah, that's right! Yeah, that's right! I did the most damage. Did I do the most damage? Yeah, that's right! I did the most damage! Just, let's go! OP! What's up, Juggy? We're on the EU server because the uh, NA server has been shut down because uh, Zenimax did a big old oopsie over there. So, uh, now... Let's see. That's me. Yes. Yes. 2H and 2H get good. Can't stop me. Can't stop me. I'm too dangerous for thee. Can't stop me. Can't stop me. Too dangerous for thee. Can't stop me. Hold on. I need that. I need that. And I need uh, that. Right there. Oh, no, no. Let's see. That. And then, uh. Can, uh. uh yeah. Yeah. 
what is up with you guys and your strange obsession with Del like I have an obsession with Kirk, but listen, not like a Delta, okay? Listen, did they fix the PTS? PTS is still currently down. And now I'm sad. Tagamit. I really should be working on my build video. Paid. 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 Hopefully, uh, we can actually test this later because I do really want to make some fun spells, but. Is the issue going to get fixed? I don't know. I'd say uh, servers will probably be ready to go by 12 o'clock tonight. If I had to guess. But. I don't know for sure. The beatings continue until moral improves. That's right. The beatings, they shall continue. But. I was looking forward to testing some spells today. I'm sorry we didn't get to do that. Um, for you guys that are either watching this back or you're here with me now, but we did get to be a part of ESO history, you know, where, uh, we got to experience probably the, one of the worst mess-ups that Zenimax has ever had on their end. Like, I've never seen something get messed up that bad before, where all my PTS stuff transfers over to the live server. Like, that has never been that bad before. Alright, but we're Xing now. We're Immortal God Mode. 1vx. Can I, like, get a different sword style? Like, Argonian sword style, or whatever? Or is this Argonian already? No, this is Primal. Oh, really? Yeah, earlier uh, when we were on the PTS, I made a character, logged in, about to test some spe some spells, about to make some of the most broken, overpowered spells you've ever seen in your entire life, and then uh, the server crashes. I'm like, okay, the server has crashed, and I'm like, okay, well, I'm just going to go back to the live server until they figure out what's wrong with the PTS. And then I go back to the live server, and my PTS character is on the live server. So I'm sitting there staring at my PTS character, fully leveled Nightblade, like a million, a billion gold in the bank, and uh, a billion Telvars, a billion Archive of Fortunes, a billion everything, every single skill line, every single collectible unlocked, and I have literally everything unlocked because of the stupid bug that Zinimax had with their servers, okay? And uh, then they took the servers offline, and now I'm on the PTS, I mean, I'm on the EU server, and I need to get some drip for my weapons. Hold on. What we have. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Isn't this drip free too? Yeah it is. Okay. Free drip. Free drip. Knowledge eater shoes. Wait, can we be Kirkhoff? Yes. And then... Yes. And then... Yes. And then... Yes. And then... Yes! Sorry. I'm getting really into my, uh, roll. Oh my gosh. This helmet goes so unbelievably hard. Yes. Purple. Everything purple. All of it. All of it purple. Including the sword. Divine Prosecution?
Yes. Yes. Wait, but did we do blue? Yes. And now we're dripping. Wait, just the wrong order. Let me do. Yes. 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 Hold on. And then we do. Wait, I want the uh, yes. Yes. Look at him. He's glorious. Yes. There is no EU PTS. Oh, they've been using the same servers. That's uh, how they get all the stuff over. Yes! I am beautiful. Yes. Thanos lizard, that's right. Thanos lizard. I don't have any personalities, do I? No. 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 Okay. How's the patch notes looking? I'm not super concerned about the patch notes. Um, at all. I want to know how the spellcrafting system works and everything like that. But we're not going to be able to test it because uh, ZeniMax did a big ol' oopsie on the servers. And now we're on the EU servers. Yes. Alright, more BGs. Wait, 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 wait. We need some new gear. Yes. More rewards of the worthy, yes. Gimme. All the rewards of the worthy, gimme. Yes. 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 Wait. Yes. Hold on. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. How much AP do we have? Oh, we have 21,000. It's OP. Alright, we gotta do more BGs. Wait. Random dungeon. And BGs. Let's go. Wait. I can't queue for BGs and a random dungeon at the same time? What is this? So PTS isn't up from the live, is it? What? What's up again, son? No. Uh, the PTS is down. And it will probably remain down until 12 o'clock. Because Zenimax accidentally... Oh my gosh. We, we Bro. Fungal Grotto 1. It doesn't get much... It Bro. It does not get much better than this. Let's go. Yeah, they they transferred everything over from the uh, PTS to the live server somehow, and that's why the servers are offline. If you want to watch it back, it happened to us. We were in the middle of streaming, and uh, yeah, we got everything live. Yeah, the EU servers are still up, which is currently what we're playing on right now. That's right. That's right! That's right! Hold on, Soul Trap. Soul Trap, idiot. Yeah, that's right. Break. Been stunned. It's over. Nah. We're not getting ESO Classic. You and I both know that. They're probably going to roll the servers back maybe a couple hours.
Nah, they're not going to do that. They're not going back that far. We all know they're not going back that far. I'm exit. Wait, how much is this? Bruh. Yeah, they'll accidentally just delete the game instead. You're right. Holy. They'll forget what they're doing, and then they'll just take all the servers offline, and then there will be no more ESO, and then they'll announce their new MMO and be like, everyone go play new MMO. Uh, yes. And what they'll do is they'll transfer all of our stuff to a new MMO. So it's like, uh, I don't know. So I'm playing on EU. Listen, I don't have any other options right now, do I? I could play other games, but I wanted to, you know, I wanted to test spells and stuff today, but I can't because the servers are down. So, you know, EU it is. If I wasn't streaming, I'd probably be working on my build video, though. What the heck you guys are getting this stream today? I... And had my schedule cleared for this. I know we could do the fungal grotto skip, but we're not going to because we're gonna pretend that we're bots. Also, I get more loot, which is uh, what I need right now. As much gear as I can get. Yes, I broke them. Listen. I was about to make the most overpowered spell of all time. Zenimax saw what I was doing. And then they were like, you know, you can't be doing that. We're not ready for you to break the game yet. So they took the servers down. And when they did that, they also forgot to uh, unmerge the live server, I guess. And listen. It's not my fault. Alright. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him! Look at him! We kill all the crabs. I give you I don't know bro we're gonna get enough viper pieces we're gonna we're gonna spam farm fungal grotto until we can get enough viper pieces Yeah, that's right. 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 I need to LF in chat for Viper Sting pieces. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Why does you gotta do that, bro? Yes. Yes. 
Yes. And then... Listen. Now I gotta turn the quest. Yes, you... You were ordered... Look at him. I'm axing. Yes! Oh wait, the Thieves Guild is free? Oh, no way. Hold on. Wait, I have crown crates too. Hold on. I gotta open those. I don't know how I got crown crates, but I do. What? Where's, where's, uh, where's my free DLC? Where is it? Requirements not met. Pocket picker? What? Binge. Fortune yes. favor you, my friend. Your rewards are there. Let's go, Drake Queen Sabatons. Let's get it. You will need to right. Gym extraction. To Extract all. Extract. Four gyms, bro. Four gyms. My cat is part Argonian. What? What a funny cat I have. Listen. Listen. Listen here. I don't need this. I don't need this. Ah. Uh, weapon Reese. Fighter cultist ice staff. Raining? Uh, yes. Belt of the Viper. Yes. Viper. Yes. Hide boots. Yes. Oh. Oh, three pieces of the viper, bro. We gotta farm more vipers. We gotta go back. I must go again. About to break the game here, boys. 4P spider cultists. Three piece vipers. Watch out. I'm dangerous. Yeah, everyone join the EU server so we can break the the thing. I don't know. Alright, oh, he just makes funny noises and I gotta do the same thing. Blur. Yes. I really don't need anything else except maybe to have this slotted instead of Trap Soul. But, but it, listen. This is Trap. Listen. Stop. All right, we're making progress. We're making progress. All right. There we go. That's good. All right. I'm going to be exiting in no time. More BGs. Oh, I see. 918. Hi, everyone. Just wanted to let you know investigations are ongoing. To set expectations as we head into the evening, we're looking at several hours of downtime. We'll let you know when we have an update to share. Goodness gracious. Oh, Frank! Let's capture the relic! All right. 
Well, it doesn't look like we're going to be testing any spell crafting tonight. Um, unfortunately. So. He doesn't know I'm here. Night blades are tricky ones, aren't they? Come here, boy. Guys, clearly hacking. SMH. We gotta win. I need more XP. I need quick goofing. Arcanist Slayer. Let's go. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Come here. Come here. Come here. This man is running. A little, A little more. Get desynced, idiot. This guy doesn't know what to do with the relic. Classic. Classic. Never thought he'd make it this far. But we're, we're green. We gotta go take the, uh, the green one. <laughs> he uses bubble ult. Now he's healing. Look at him. Got him. Got him. I win. No gun. They're all hacking! Look at them! Look at them hacking! Look at them! All hackers! Somebody get the relic! Get him! Get him! Get good. Grab the relic back. Uh, hacking! All of them hacking! We gotta get into the role play.
Yes. I don't even care about winning at this point. I'm just here so I can get rewards of the worthy and get more gear. I'm dangerous. Snow blooms. You would not survive. You would not survive. My Argonian Greece. Come here. Come. Embrace Argonian Greece. Come here. Dangerous Argodian man. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Probably used to why. Listen. Oh, I get a flame enter not great. Mage's guild. Mage's guild OP. Mage's guild OP. Yes. Yep, crates, boys. More crates. To see you. I got freaking lipstick. I'm putting it on. I put it on. I'm a freaking Argonian with crimson paint lipstick. Look at him. Look at him. Beautiful. I don't know why it gave me this, but I'm wearing it. Because it's obnoxious. What we got from our uh, 
I am OP, that's right. Gorgeous. Most beautiful Argonian in the world. Freaking give me lipstick, bro. Strange. I got something. Sword of Endurance. Are you kidding me, bro? Only one sword, not a 2H? You're a grease bot. You are a freaking grease bot. Andar's Blessing. Eh. Vanguard challenge pauldron. Nothing. So now I'm an Argonian Joker. Yep, that's right. 14 and 1, that's right. I'm sweating, bro. Freaking sweating against all these EU hackers. They're all hacking too. Look at them. Look at them. Look at grease balls. They're all hacking. We're not doing too bad. I want more AP, though, because uh, that's going to be our key to getting us some decent gear at some point. Um, so I guess we need to do more BGs. Must keep farming the BGs. We must keep on Xing. We must X every day. We must X. Let's see. Mr. Armor buff. Okay, good. Somehow I'm still alive. Same, honestly. Relatable. I want to put the helmet on. See how glorious he looks with his helmet. Look at him. Look how far apart his eyes are. Glorious. Purple lizard. Look at him. Did we buy anything? We have 1,000 gold. Bleh. Same! 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 Well, this thing's probably gonna expire here in a sec, so up here. Oh! We could do another BG! We're axing, boys. I don't know, I might get off in about, uh... 15, 30 minutes. Since, uh, I can't test new spells and stuff. We'll have to test those tomorrow if it works. Oh my gosh. My brother. Man's name is Pink Unicorn Girl. And he's an Argonian. Look at him. Look at these guys. Look at him. Look at him. Grease Blade. I'm Xing. I'm Xing. Maxing. Look at all these new players just putting on the Arcanist class. Is all like the new class, the new Arcanist Grease. It's Deathmatch 2. They shall not survive.
I've escaped. Got him. Got him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Look, he's rubber banding. Look at him. Clearly European. Look, he's hacking. Mo, clearly hacking. No! Greased up deaf guy? What is this? No. I refuse. Displayed. Grease. Mixing. This is a Mr. Rubber Band right here. Look at him lagging so much. Goodness gracious. Hello, Epic. How we doing today? Um. Well, a lot has happened, and uh, well, I'm kind of tired now, so that's how I am. Basically. You know, the uh, PTS was transferred to the live server earlier today. I was a part of that. Um, it was all on stream. It was really weird. And... Yeah. It happened. And now we're on the EU server because we can't play on the NA server no more. Because that's down for maintenance. Because they're trying to figure out what the heck happened. Um, this is what happens when you uh, try and change stuff. That wasn't broken to begin with, but you do it anyways because you're like, Oh, I'm a Zenimax. I can do whatever I want, and you can't actually do whatever you want. Now we're Xing because uh, we must X.
I think our food just ran out. That's not good. Agony, listen. Yeah, we don't have no more food pain. All right, we must X without food then. That's fine. We can do that. Most of these guys are doing it anyways because they don't know what food is. Keep getting triple kills. I want to get a quad kill. Come on. Trying to win for us, bro. Kirk, just come, 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 embrace a uh, PC in an e EU server. Come. Uh, you you'll be able to figure it out. People will be playing again, but it's gonna be a minute until then. We're gonna be the most overpowered EU Argonian of all time, and no one can stop us. We will not be stopped. We will not be stopped. Wait, I need to save this skill point for something. Yeah, I don't know when the server's coming back on, but Kirk, you're probably not going to be able to play tonight. I might get off myself. It's 10 o'clock for me, and much as I love to keep goofing off, I've been playing this game for five hours, and Rick, I got my PTS experience. I'm going to go eat ice cream and maybe a little bit. I don't know. I got I get school tomorrow anyways, and I got to finish this build video at the same time, so... I don't know, but I'm an Argonian Nightblade, and that's all that matters. I'm OP. Thanks for the gold, brother. Wait, I gave you gold? Oh. Yeah. Alright.
power are you on? LOL servers are down for me. I'm on the EU servers. That's the secret. The servers are down, and it's a very interesting story. Um, we were a part of it. If you want, go back and watch uh, the early parts of the stream once we start PTS testing, because what happened was... We were there for it. I was a part of it. Basically, it transferred our PTS stuff over to the live server, and that's why the servers are down, because I had a character on the live server that had a billion plus gold, a billion plus Telvar, a billion plus alliance points, a billion plus archival fortunes, um, a billion plus undaunted keys, every single unlocked uh, style and furnishing and everything. I had everything unlocked. I was also CP 3600. Okay? The servers were broken. It transferred everything from the PTS to the live server. So that's why they're, the servers are offline right now. Um, there's a big old mess up, big old hiccup. Um, if you want to see that, go back in the stream. Let us have it. No. Tested on the PTS. The servers went down. And then... Let's see, timestamp, let's see. Right about two hours into the stream is where the servers go down. And I switch over. Oh, no, I, I, I literally started this character on stream. I, I literally started this character on stream. Um, so, that's why I have him moderately leveled, because we've just been spamming BGs over and over again. We've been Xing the EU server. No, the servers are not back. We're on the EU server. Yeah. We're still on the EU server because we can't play on the NA server. Tempering alloy. Yep, sounds good to me. Let's see. Woo! Sharpened battle axe. Blunted blades. Look at him. Look at him. Uh... Probably put these back on, huh? Well, Vipers is pretty good, too. Yeah, I was doing giveaways. And I bought some extra packs in case I want to do more giveaways. But... Ah, it's whatever. What do you mean? Is this whole EU account new or is this just the Argony? Um, this is my account. I'm just on the EU server. That's it. I ain't got, I ain't got no friends. I ain't got no guilds. I ain't got, uh, I ain't got nothing. <laughs> But I'm an Argonian, and I'm on the EU server. I have some drip. Look at him. He's purple, he's an Argonian, and he's OP. He will X your mom and everybody else you know. 1VX Argonian. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Alright. Now I'm just- no, I'm not. Listen. Well, I mean, if you are an Argonian, you're probably, like, OP anyways. I don't know. Oh, yes. I have Mage's Guild robes and this. But I like this. This is OP. I don't know. I wanted to play with some new overpowered, broken, unkillable God Mode 1vx spells today. I was gonna do that, but I can't because, well, servers are down and they're not coming back on. So there's not much we can do. Can I buy more mount speed? I can wait one hour. I can buy mount speed. OP. But, yeah. Um, probably just gonna get off for the night then, and we'll try and test some of the new abilities tomorrow. Um, once I finish my schoolwork. I don't think my week... I looked at my schoolwork before I started streaming today. My schoolwork does not look like it's super heavy. Um, E-Man, you're a night owl. The servers might be back online just in time for you. But it's probably going to take them all night to fix what's going on um, at this rate. 
because I thought they'd come back on around 12 o'clock, but apparently the problem goes a little bit deeper than they originally thought, so it might take, you know, a little while longer to get it fixed. So, yeah, you're probably not going to be able to play until tomorrow on the North American server. So, they're probably going to give us, like, a couple extra days of the event. And maybe, like, some free... They better give us free crown crates. Or else. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. If the server is back up before 11 EST, I'll be surprised. I doubt it. I doubt it. So, I think we'll, we'll, we'll mess around with, uh... Uh, spell crafting tomorrow. Um, we were about to get our hands on it, and then this whole thing happened, so. Um, yeah. Comes back at 2 a.m., prime time for you. I know it's prime time for you, but, um, listen. Grease. Get all five of those leads from the Eternal Infinite Archive tonight. Oh, yeah, and then when they roll back the servers, everything you've done over the last maybe, like, day or so will be rolled back, so none of it will count as well, because they got to roll the servers back. Yeah. Grease. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, well. If you're wanting my opinion on the patch notes, uh, also you can go back and watch those at the beginning of the stream. We went over everything PTS related happened at the beginning of the stream, and then the servers crashed, and then uh, we just went to the EU and hung out for a little bit. So, they should be able to roll back one minute before the PTS kicked off. It doesn't work like that, unfortunately, BM. Um, you create snapshots of your servers, right? And... When that happens, you create them at an interval. Um, hopefully for Zenimax, the snapshot that they created, they create one every two days, hopefully. Um, if not, then we're going to be rolled back two weeks. We're going to be rolled back two weeks if they did not create a good snapshot. Because I think that is when they had the old transfers. So uh, if that's the case, then it will be a two-week rollback, which will be abominable for everybody. Oh, I hope not. I hope it's only like an eight-hour rollback. But either way, if you've done anything today of note on the North American server before the server went down, chances are you're probably not getting that progress back unless you go and do it again. So, I think they do it more often than that, but it's also Zenimax. So, like, you know, it, well, it's Zenimax, right? They, they barely keep up with their servers as it is. Because if they actually cared about their servers, we would not be lagging as much as we do. And server performance would not be such an issue when you're trying to PvP. But it is. So, I don't think they have very good server support. So, it wouldn't surprise me if we're rolled back, like, a week or so. But... If they have a good team, they would have made a snapshot before, um, they would have made a snapshot of the servers before they went live with the PTS, so it shouldn't be that bad. But I think right now what they're doing is they're keeping the servers down until they can fix the issue. I'm worried about how far back the rollback will be, but I don't think it'll be that bad, honestly, if they did everything the right way. If it is, they got some prices to pay. Awful since the last scheduled maintenance, so I don't know what the heck they're doing. They don't take care of their servers. So, yeah. If anything, they could also be doing the long way, like the long format, and using the log files from the server to go through each individual person's account and remove their PTS character. But the problem with that is if someone logged on from the PTS, and then got onto the live server and then started depositing everything that their PTS character had and putting it in their bank, then they're going to have some problems when it comes to, uh, you know, reestablishing everything. Because not everyone is like me where they didn't put everything in the bank and stuff um, off of their character. Some people probably just used that and bought a bunch of stuff from the guild traders and 
well, then that's just more gold flooding into the economy. So, you know, inflation's going to go up. I love technology. I'm trying to understand technology. I take classes for servers and stuff. Um, because it's required. Um, server virtualization, server hardware, and cybersecurity. Because you need to know how all this baseline stuff works. Um, before they can teach you, um, you know, the coding part of it. Which is the hacking part. So... They're making sure I learn all this stuff, so I kind of understand a little bit of this. I'm by no means an expert, but I have knowledge. <laughs> Alright, Andrew. I trust you, buddy. I believe in you. Snapshots were corrupted. The game is nuked now. That's why you have backups. That's why you have this thing called a raid. Um, it's like a, a multi-file server backup thing. Um, basically, it copies the backup, mirrors it, and does it like three times. So, if the original backup was corrupted, well then, yeah, there is no hope. But... Shouldn't be that way if they take their server security pretty seriously. No, they did not nerf Blast Bones, E Man. Not nerf Blast Bones. All right, here's what they did to your necro- Here's what they did to your beloved necromancer class. All right. Gravelord, Shockening, Siphon, uh, they just changed how the tethers work, so the tethers are much more effective on necro, but they're still tethers, and they're still bound by line of sight. So for outnumbered fights, these are still basically useless, because you need to be right on top of the corpse in order to use it. And, yeah. In Greece. They're not nerfing my melee nightblade, though, which is the part I'm excited about. Because I can finally come out with the build video. Which I'll have to do after we do all the PTS testing. Because I want to test stuff real, real bad. But, yeah, if you want to go back, E-Man. If you want to be entertained. um, Go back to the very beginning of the stream. And just watch the stream through from the front. From the front end. Because, man, was it a roller coaster of a ride. Goodness gracious, so much fun stuff happened at the beginning of the stream. Until uh, the servers uh, kind of goofed off and pain happened and... Yeah! I'm just hanging out with you guys at this point. What's up, Agroticus? We're just, like, reminiscing. Um, can I maybe show you guys that part of the stream? Can we watch it back? We can watch it back. Yeah, screw it. Let's watch it back together. I'm gonna go get something to drink, and we're gonna watch this back together. Get a grease. You want to join a call? We can join a call if you want, E-Man. If you want to go back and uh, watch it, react to it. Heck, you could even start a stream right now where you hop on the EU server, but it wouldn't do you much good because the NA server is not going to come back on. Up to you, though, dude. I'm going to go get something to drink. I'll be right back. Let me pull up a chair.
Hi. I'm back. And I'm greasing. I'm consuming instant noodles right now because I'm too tired to cook. Same. Same! Oh, man. Okay. Um. Yeah, I guess before I get off, we can uh, watch this back. For you guys that uh, missed it. Sup, Dawnbreaker of Smiting. Tired, gang? Yeah. Been up all day. Oh, and it's 10 o'clock now. And sleepy. Alright. Um, let's see. Let me move this over to a new tab. So we can watch it. This was my... I'm gonna pull up the stream. Forcing me to watch ads on my own stream. Can you believe that? Bop. I didn't know uglier could get uglier. Listen. Oh, chair is still up. Bop. All right, we're on the EU server, uh, so that's why I'm an Argonian. <laughs> Let's roll back. A little bit. So I'm just going to go to the point where the server crashed. We we're trying to figure out how to live life and stuff. So, yeah. Let's relive our trauma. You guys ready? Alright, so this is us. Right here. Oh, wait, I got a... Okay. Got like a double overlay thing going on. Hold on. Just up. Chat. There we go. Goodness gracious, we have a double chat situation. Oh my goodness. Chat going crazy. Can't see nothing. Oh, let's go. Alright, let's watch it back. I right. Embrace. What? You know, it's just better if you guys just go back and watch it, because, uh, well, like, why am I watching my own stream? It's just weird. Um... Listen. Why not? It's not the fable of the Natch, as I recall it. Wait, so I can't just buy stuff? Who's this? Nevertheless, an entertaining read. Why are you I so short? Listen. D does anyone know where I go to buy more stuff so I can upgrade my smash and make meta spells? I want to make meta spells. Let me make meta spells. Let me ruin the game. We got a dragon. So I have to complete these little quests. Is this what I gotta do? I gotta complete these little quests and I can get more I stuff. Fond of the However, if you are short Pull my stream up in a bit. Alright. Wait, watching my own stream now? Pay thumbs up, your own comments. Watch. Watch. I can like my own videos, you see that? I can I join my own channel members? I can. I think I can join my own channel members. Pain. I don't even know how that works. Look at you, Garm. Look at you. Look at him. Yeah, we're just sitting here doing absolutely nothing. Emotes. Look at him. Look at him. It's a lot of chat overlays. I know you don't really know which one to look at. There's just so much going on. But yeah, you guys can run back and watch this part of the stream if you're wondering. Um, it's about two hours in. Okay, so if it starts here, five hours and 20 minutes ago. And goes over here. Okay. About an hour and 30 minutes in. Um, that's when all the grease starts to happen. So if you go an hour and 30 minutes from the start, you should run into it. <laughs> Do you want more layers of chat? I can duplicate chat. Make it even worse. 
but ah right, man i don't know what to do i don't want to do too much more eso stuff like running around in the eu is only so much fun i can argonian boost look at him I need to discover this way shrine. Hold on. Why do they do this? Why do they decorate the way shrines? Look at this. Look at this grease. Look at this grease. Look at him. Go fight world bosses or hunt dragons. I really do need to embrace my inner PvE side, but I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't know how the freak people play PvE and do it and stream it. I don't understand. Goodness gracious, if you stream PvE content in this game, how? How? Literally how? Literally how? PvE is so boring in this game because of how repetitive it is that I don't understand how you can do this every day and have fun with it. It's just so repetitive. I'm sorry. I've I've done it before. Maybe I've just completed everything I want to complete in PvE, so it's like boring to me now, but dag home. You do it once, you've done it. Well Dragon's Dogma 2 is different, okay? Other games that are PvE are fun. Because I've never done stuff like that before or played them. But like ESO PvE is just so easy. Even at low level, kind of. But when you don't actually have any, uh, you know, set synergy, um, it is quite difficult if you don't have a build. <laughs> but buildcraft is not too difficult to figure out in this game. So, yeah, I think for now, I think I'm just going to get off and go bed. In a minute, I got to eat food, though. I'm hungry. And then I'll do it. We'll try and get some of this stream tomorrow. Um... That's for sure. I want to play with the new spellcrafting system, but we ran into our error today, so that's not going to happen. But yeah, um, I guess till then, until tomorrow. Thank you guys for stopping in. I'm working on I'm working on my Nightblade build video. I have three parts done. I think I have the montage complete. I have the combat stuffs complete, and I have the main primary part where we talk about all the build stuff, the armor sets, and the skills and stuff. I need to film my intro. And I need to film my outro, and yeah, and then I'll be done. But I've probably put like 20 hours into the video thus far, so probably another good 10 hours, 8 to 10 hours into the video, and it'll be good. So I guess by that logic, might even come out on Friday if I can find the time to get it done. But yeah, yeah so PVE is basically for the story, not the challenge. Yeah, their story writing is alright. Some of it is. Some of it's just weird and kind of boring. But some of it's pretty good. But it's hard to get engrossed in the story when uh, this is your dialogue box right here. This... This isn't super immersive. Best mounts in all of Vardenfell. This is incredibly dated. Come in and see what's available today. This is incredibly dated. Just this... This bar on the right. NPC on the left. Text box dialogue. Even if I use you look like friggin' this. Where is it? Should be on automatic. Why is it still locked? Hold on. Point is, hard to be immersed in this game. And uh, it's not super...
not super duper immersive. So, accessibility modes are super hard access. I, yeah, dude, it's kind of annoying. I'm playing with mouse and keyboard. Whee! Mouse and keyboard OP. How do I do this? Bro, I swim so fast. Goodness gracious, Argodian's OP. Take me back. Listen. Crack ball, mouse, and keyboard. Play with Guitar Hero controls. Yes. But then that means I have to do hand cams, and that's weird. Because you guys will have pictures of my hands. I know you will. You guys are strange. I. Right. Anyways, we're getting off. Um, I'm really drawing this out. 360 snow scope. I'll see myself out. Okay. Well, it's okay. I'm seeing myself out, too, because, uh, well, there's not much I want to do anymore. So go relax and enjoy the rest of my evening. Eat ice cream. And reveal! Okay, maybe Garm. Maybe. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being a part of this stream. If you just got here, or you joined halfway through, um, I suggest go back once the stream uh, goes up as a VOD. And skip to about the 1 hour and 30 minute mark once we start testing on the PTS because then that's when all the fun stuff happens. And uh, you definitely want to watch it live as it unfolds because uh, you'll be just as confused as I was. So, thanks for the stream. Have a good night and have fun. Thanks, Garm. Good night, Garm. Uh, I'll try and stream tomorrow if they have the servers back up and we'll make some meta spells. Um, so, we'll maybe recycle the title. And potentially the thumbnail. And just do day two. So. Yeah. Thank you guys for stopping in. And you guys have a good night.